going on, buddy? Uh, my name is Nov. Welcome to Novicity True Crime Podcast here on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we are still continuing and talking about the very strange case of Riley Strain. Now, I have been talking about this case for a few days now. Uh, just to sum it up, Riley here is a senior college student um, who went missing on March 8th after he went out with his boys uh, at Luke's 32 restaurant at Nashville, Tennessee. And 20 minutes after him leaving the bar, or there was a few statements saying he was kicked out. He was very much intoxicated. We don't know if he had any drugs. He was seen walking down the street and then under a bridge, he vanished. Completely vanished, gone, without a trace. Every day that I've been talking about this case, we have been finding and hearing about small little details, small clues, small discoveries like his credit card, his t-shirt. And now today, we are here to talk about this new footage that has been uncovered. New footage of him from a police POV body cam that I have for you guys here today. But I got the full video. I don't just... I have it. I have the full video. Shout out to everyone who sent these details over at Discord. I really, 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 really do appreciate you for sending this, this type of info. So let's, you know, we, we, we have been doing some investigation work on the online side versus the field. And we have been coming up with a lot of things. So today, I want you to come, combine your, mind with, combine your minds with me to talk about this case, to identify some of the, the holes in this case. This is very much a very tricky, but scary, eerie, uh, mysterious case. And I wanna thank you guys for tuning in with me. Like always, like, share, and subscribe on Facebook and on YouTube. Share, 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 Just hit those like buttons. And I would appreciate it if you tag one person or, or uh, follow and share as much as you can. All right, let's dig into this. Uh, you know what, let's just jump into the footage. Let's let's go. Let's jump into the footage. I want to see the full video. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's 23 seconds. 48 seconds. All right. Let's have a look. Hmm. All right. So I'm about to play the video, guys. Oh, as you can see, uh, let's see here. This is a, a metro. Okay, so this was a release. Okay, Metro Police Nashville, Davidson County. Hmm. Okay. So before I, before I play this video, I can see that it is a body cam. It 100% looks like a body cam footage. And what can we see off that? It's really nothing else, to be honest. There's no, like, clues for, for anything so far that we know. Uh... But we'll keep our eyes open. Guys, when watching this video, keep your eyes open. Let me know if you see anything, any details we might know. We don't want to miss anything here, okay? Uh, let's see here. I don't see nothing strange so far. I heard there was something in the first clip. I, I don't see anything. All right, so let's play this video. Let's see what else we can find. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, I see him right on the left. Right on the left. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. <coughs> oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Turn around, just turn around, turn around. It was over here on Gay Street, uh, near First Avenue. North. That's the first bridge! What is this case about? I already explained it to you at the beginning of when I press live. Again, I'll say it real quick. Riley Strain went missing, completely vanished. 
stuff is sporadically all over, distributed between Gay Street and uh, Cumberland River. Friends, family don't know where he is. No one knows where he is. He's just missing. Hold on real quick. Hold on. That is the first, first bridge. I can tell because of the buildings. I remember the buildings. Crystal Powell with the two super chat. Damn, Crystal. She says, hey, fam. Welcome and happy Monday. Thank you, Crystal. We appreciate you. Let's play that video again. Let's play this again. He was running again. He was running again. Wait a minute. He's running again. Wait, let me get the maps opened up for this bad boy. Hold up real quick. Hold up. He was running, but there's nobody behind him. I knew it. I, I, I t he, he, was, he was just running. He was just drunk. That's, that's what it is. He wasn't, I don't think he was running from anybody. Because while this guy was, while the officer was walking towards the opposite direction of where he was running, there was absolutely no one. I, I, and I didn't see nobody across the street, but I'll look again. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. He said something up, right there. How you doing, sir? I can't make that out. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we I may have to edit this video. This is looking like something I may have to edit. I have to boost the volume, clear it up a little bit. I have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to edit this video. Mm. How you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? Good. He said something right there. Don't know what it is. I don't know what that is, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely, we put our minds together. We can kind of understand this. I don't know what he said right there. I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what he said. Hold on real quick. Let's put this over here real quick. This is where it happened. That's that sidewalk. And I can ident I can I can I can understand it because I can look in that I can see, okay, we're going to look at things around that normally is there. So it happened like right here. And you can see this meters here. Mm. Hi Noah. What's going on, everybody? I see I see all you guys. I see all you beautiful people at Facebook and YouTube. Jackie M says, Hi Nov. Just cuz. <laughs> Oh my gosh, random super chats are hilarious. I appreciate you, Jackie. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're here, Jackie. Thank you. How are you? And he said, good. And are you? Yeah, I, I know he said that, but he said, did any, did, uh, it, do you guys hear him saying something else after that? I swear I heard something. I'm, and you guys know I don't make shit up. I do not make nothing up. Tell me if you, do you agree? Yes or no in the chat? Do you hear something else after that? Yes or no? Because I know I'm not going bananas. I know I'm not going bananas. I know I heard something. I know I heard something. I know I heard something. Yes, mumble, no. I heard nothing. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to show y'all. I didn't hear it, right? Okay. No problem. I'm, I'm going to show you right now. Listen, I'm going to bump up the volume even more. Thank you, Jackie and Crystal, for Super Chest. A great way to start the day. Amanda, Denny with the 100 stars. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible today so far. Marie with the 100 stars. She says, hello, no. Hello, Marie Paul. Listen up, guys. Okay, I got to look for that fire hydrant. Okay, so let's try to identify this place just a little more. So there's something here. There's no, I don't see no camps. That pole. Oh, that's a person. That's a, that's a person. 
red. That's a sign up there that said something. Red sign. Bingo! There we go. Happened right here. Right here. That's where this happened. First bridge. It, it was the second one. It was the second one. They clearly see the officer. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the second one. It's the second one. Second one. I'm telling you. Shoot. No of all day, every day. Well, because you already know. <laughs> what's with this? What's with the super chats today? Everybody's with this like, eh, you already know it. <laughs> I appreciate that, Melly. Everybody has this chalant attitude that I like. Guys, do not be fooled. Guys, don't be fooled. Just because you heard him and he was he sounded all right. Don't go over his what he said. I, I, he can sound okay, but it's how he's acting. It's he's running for no reason. And did you hear the first thing he said? He didn't sound all that okay. It was not bad, but it wasn't all that okay. Listen again. I'm gonna play it again. Listen, listen. See, he didn't sound all that all right right there. He said, hi. But that defeats the purpose. I mean, the man was running from nothing. Nothing. Look. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> okay, I want to focus on him turning around. Where did he go? Where did he go? What the hell? Where did he go? It was over the hill on Gay Street, uh, near First Avenue. North. What the hell? What the hell? I cannot see it. That's not him right here. That black thing is not him. Logic tells me he crossed the street. That's, that's what I'm thinking right now. Because the cars are going to block my sight from someone. Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back this up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He, yes, who said that in the chat? Definitely shuffling his feet and was running until he seen the cop. Exactly. Guys, he's, he's dragging his feet. When you run, typically people don't run. But you hear that. He's, come on, you know? I, I, I'm almost kind of almost done talking about the drunk and drug part. We know that something's wrong. We just know that. It's high probability. I'm going to run it high. He was intoxicated. I've been saying this from the beginning. I know you guys are saying drugs, and that's fine. We can totally say drugs, but we know that he was induced with something. Right now, I'm trying to figure out that strip, this main strip right here. This is the strip that's important because my guy just vanished. And don't worry about it, but thank God because I am a cinematographer and I do editing, so we are going to save this video. We are going to edit this video. I... I, I Hold on real quick. Maybe if I can save it to, hold on. Uh, Breezy said, true crime and P.O. Box Day. Yes, guys, at the end of the podcast, I will be doing a P.O. Box opening at the very end of the podcast. Thank you, Breezy, for the super chat. You're, I appreciate you, Breezy. How are you doing? DM with the 499 says, 
He said, I'm good too. How are you? Yes, yes, we heard that. But he said something else. I know you guys are saying, no, I don't know what he said. I'm, I'm like 70, 80% sure he said something else. Sent you a message on Facebook Messenger. Go, uh, Good info. Okay, I will check it out. Just give me a second. Let me just like run through this real quick, Crystal. I appreciate the super chat. Melly with that one in nine says, like, like, like this live now. You guys heard Melly. I'm going to keep this up there. Melly Belly, you heard her. Okay, let's see something. So, boom, slip here. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You know what I'm also going to use? I'm going to try to see if I can hear the footsteps traveling. And then... If there's a full version of this, more than 48 seconds, say no... Uh, in a chat, I have that video. More than 48 seconds of this raw video. Not, no podcaster, no nothing else. Or just this video. Let me know if there is. I don't think there is, but... Let's see. Hold on. So he turns. He says something. Hold on. How you doing, sir? Hi. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Listen closely. You heard that? You heard that? You heard that? Listen, listen, listen. Listen, put your headphones in. Go to a quiet place. Listen, listen. Anything counts. Anything counts, guys. Anything matters. Single word, a whole sentence. Anything matters. He could have said something important. Listen again. I'm telling you guys, I'm not going crazy. Listen. Good, how are you? Good. I don't know what he said right there, but he said something. Good, how are you? Good. Right there. I, t I told you. I, I told you. You hear it? Aha, uh -huh, you hear it now, huh? I told y'all. I'm telling you, I heard something. Good. He said something, man. I got to edit this video. I got to get involved. Give me a second. I got to get the full footage. I got to get the full one. Yes, I'm yes, I'm going to keep this here for a minute because she's co absolutely correct. Hold on. I got to save this footage. Maybe I can save it raw. Guys, I don't mean to to go crazy real quick, but uh, uh I think I may be on to something something. I can't save it this way. Can't download it that way. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this footage, copy the, the URL, and I can, do, I can take the coded, hold on. I can take the coded Metro Nashville PD. Do they have a Facebook? Maybe they upload it at a higher quality than uh, a better quality. Then uh, Twitter. Let's see. Yep, I, f I knew it. Got it. Better, better. Better, better. Way better quality. Way better quality. Way better. Way better. Okay, let's pay attention. Better, better. It's just better. It's better. The blended family says he could. Have Please don't shut down Facebook. Oh, there we go. Oh, Facebook is terrible. We're still live. We're still live. We're still live. Don't worry about it. We're still live. Okay. So, I'm surprised the officer didn't say, "Hey, buddy, like you know, like, are you okay? What's going on? Like, are you okay? Why are you running? Is why are you running? So something, something." Uh, morning rain with a 20. Oh my gosh, morning rain. Thank you so much, morning rain. Thanks for all you, uh, all you do. Smiley face, uh, smiley face and a heart. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I just, I'm, I'm just doing, just doing work, I guess. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, let's see at the beginning here. You know what? Let's use our brain. Let's watch this. The Facebook version looks a little more clearer. 
And then from there, I can try to download it from Facebook. I, I know I can. There's a way to do that, and I know how to do it. Um, then we're going to edit this footage. Um, while it downloads, we're going to watch some videos. It's an article that I have, and then we can move on, okay? Um, Facebook and YouTube are Nova City biggest haters. <laughs> Nicole Holder, what's up, mama? How are you? How are you, Nicole Holder? How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's over here on Gay Street, uh, near First Avenue. North. I cannot see. I, I don't. I don't see him. Chat. I don't. I don't see him. I don't. I don't see him. I don't. Let me know if you see him when you saw this video, please. You know, don't make something up. Just truthfully be like, hey, no. I think that this, this part of the video is is him. Hey, no. This part of the video. Is, is 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 him let me know if you genuinely see him on your end i don't I, I don't i'm going to download the video right now mm, of course it's gonna be 720p hold on this is 720p this is 1080p Give me a second. I'm downloading it just now. I found a way to download it from Facebook. I got it. He did say something, by the way. That was the cop's radio. No. 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 Guys, if it was a cop's radio, you would hear it so close. It wasn't no cop's radio. No. No, it wasn't. Did it work? Let's see if it worked. I got the video. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh, it worked. <sighs> it worked. It's time that we edit this video footage. Should we edit it now or watch the updates? I think we should watch the updates before we assume or or speculate first. Let me do that. You got, you, sorry, but you guys are going to have to sit back and wait. And uh, we're going to edit this video footage. Uh, I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to wait. I know you guys are like, no, do the editing now. No, I have a reason. We're, you're going to have to wait for that. I got the footage. I downloaded it. Look, crispy, clear. Look, look how clear it looks. See that? Look how clear that beautiful looks. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to edit this. We're going to edit this. We're going to edit this. We're going to edit. Let's just listen to it one more time. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. There it is. There it is. And I see nobody in sight. So I'm using logic. I see nobody. Nobody on the right side of the road. When the camera turns, when he turned, that sound came from my left earbud. I have spatial audio. That's how I'm trying to identify if it's him or not. I'm using spatial audio. Spatial audio is a tech, it's a specific technology that it was developed where um, it will, you can identify it by closing your eyes of the position of, the, of where the sound came from. So I'm using spatial audio. That sound came from a direction where somebody is leaving around where he was. I'm applying science and logic here and it's telling me that it, it, it's highly likely that came from him. Nobody else is in the video footage. I don't hear nobody else. 
I only see two. I'm even looking at the reflection of the truck and I don't see nobody else. I see the cop and I see him. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Since I don't see nobody, I'm thinking he's drunk. He's talking to himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if I don't see, if, if, it's, if this specific look is the same thing as the end of the frames, boop, see that? Boop, 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 boop. It, logic tells me that the cop is much shorter and the body cam is at an angle where the big red truck, it would be a red truck out of everything, right? Is blocking him crossing the street. Either two things happened. He crossed the street or he fell on the right side right there. And the cop didn't notice that. That's the only logical thing that I can, that, that I can think of. Um, do I see another officer? I don't. Do I see another light? No, I don't. Patrol car right there. Oh, there is a patrol car right there, actually. Right there. Okay, so that explains that. Okay, that explains that. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. <coughs> That's a male voice. That's a male voice. That is not a female's voice. That is a male's voice. That is a male's voice. That is a male's voice. That is not a female's voice. I'm I'm calling it on my my opinion. That is not a female's voice. Um, kind of sounds like someone passing gas. Okay, Christopher. Um, sure, sure, Christopher. Um, okay, Christopher. Why why not? Why not? Netta with a nine ninety nine. Netta, you with these. Netta, thank you so much. You're so kind. She said, could he have said tired? Okay, that was one of the words that I thought he said. I, like, I, I basically came up with like three different words when, 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 when playing this so far, and tired was one of them. And those are one of the words that I, I thought I heard too. Not, it's not a fact, I can't say that, but I don't hear another officer, no. Um, if, if that's the case... The way he projected his voice, just pay attention to the video. Also, um, I do see a car across the street, which could be a, 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 a patrol car. And um, no, he said he was good. What? No. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this again because I don't think people are following in the chat on Facebook. After all of that, he said something else. After that, after that exchange, when it became when it became silent, it sounded. It does. I'm like ninety percent sure now. It sounded like Riley said something else. Okay, now I'm gonna play it again. Not the how are you part. After, after. Okay, pay attention. After. Thank you, Netta, for the super chat. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. Right there. Right there. Right there. What the hell did he say there? Y'all, y'all better listen in with me. I'm gonna play it again. Please listen in with me. I'm gonna need y'all help. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Good, how are you? Good. Get ready for the sound. It's going to come right now. It's not a sound. It's all... Wait, what did he say? Or possibly his shoe foot squeaking. No, 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 no. It was audible. It, 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 it was... It came out vocal cords. That, that... Whatever he said right there, that, that was his final word. Right there.
Pretty good. How are you? No, no. Mm, I'm sorry. Okay. That could have been anything. Oh, man. I don't think people are following here. I, I, some people are not getting it. It's okay. It's okay. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. Get ready. Right there. That's 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 vocal cords. That's all. That's something coming out of somebody's. You understand? It's not an object. It's not. What's the word? What's the definition of automatopoeia? It's like something of a sound that describes what it is. None of that. Neither. It's not that. Neither. It. It's. 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 A, it's a. It's when you. It's projected from a chord. Does that make sense? I know some of you guys are not following. You guys are still stuck on how are you. We're not talking about that. It's after. Okay? Don't worry about it. I'm going to edit the video. Let me move on from this. I'm going to edit the video. If I was you, don't go anywhere because you're just going to miss it. Um, why I'm doing that? Because I want to come back. I want to come back to this. Um, but Netta, good, 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 good comment. Uh, Christopher said this too. I don't think it was any of that. Christopher, I'm going to be, I'm like 100% sure on that. I deal with audio all the time. That's a, that's a that's a human cord. Was there investigate a crime? Why wouldn't the cop warn him? Especially because he was alone and intoxicated. Crystal, I'm just surprised at all that the cop didn't. He's running. He's running. He's 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 just running. Do you have? Wait, what? Do I have what? He mumbles, Rosa, something like that. He is something like that. Somebody says something about, do I have equipment or something like that? I have more than enough equipment to help me with that. And it's, it's more to do with software than equipment. Um, knowing it was there and to investigate a crime. You know what, Crystal? You, you raise a good point there. And I'm just, I, I probably feel bad for that officer because now that officer feels like, damn, I could have changed that moment. That could have been the last person he saw. Well, second last person because we don't know what the last person did to him. If there was foul play involved. Thank you, Crystal. Lou Wenson with the five says, have they spoke uh, to those two cars that drove by at the moment? From my understanding, that would be only the, pol the police would, ha would, would have the power to do that. I mean, unless you know a guy who knows a guy who knows an officer that can read plates to you and give you an address, which that is a crime. I heavily believe that officers are definitely looking to any case scenario Um, yeah, let, let me look at the ending one more time and then we'll come back to the edited, okay? <coughs> Looking for reflections, any, any signs of a drop in, uh, drop the wallet or a card on the floor. I can, what I can do for the editing, I can increase the saturation uh, and the contrast to see if he dropped anything on the floor when I edited. it. Nola. Nola, let me... Okay, Nola. If it was an officer's radio, this, this is, I'm trying to help here. You will hear static, the ending noise, I, f I forgot what's it called. So there's noises that go on when first starting and after the radio, the officer's radio. It, 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 it's a voice followed by static and an ending end sound of a video of a video of, of, of the radio. In no way, shape, or form, I would ever think it's an officer's radio. And even if it was, you would hear it louder because it was closer to the camera. How can it be an officer's radio? If it was a second officer's radio. We don't see the officer nowhere inside of the video, even if the, we can assume the officer's in the car while he's writing up a ticket or something. No way. Absolutely. You would hear a radio beep. There's no, no, no. Just want to clear this up a little bit. Someone in black holding him up. Where are you guys here? 
What is going on today, ladies? What? what? I'm okay. What is what is happening? Is the screen blurry for anyone else? Um, I mean, this is how it is. Where could, where could he have gone? What the hell? How does he disappear like this? I don't understand. Logic tells me that he went across the street. Or he fell on the right side while he had his back turned. Because at, this is the only spot. There's two spots that there's openings. Openings. Okay? Got in red truck. Penny, you said he got into the... He got inside the red truck. Guys, what's happening today? <laughs> what's going on? It was over here on Gay Street. Uh, near First Avenue. I can't identify that. I cannot. I can't. Hold on real quick. Let me go here real quick. I can't wait to edit this video. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna come back to do are you gonna be here for the full edit? We have a podcast today. This podcast is gonna last about two hours. Um, I'm not trying to go over two and a half hours. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I got too much work to do. Uh, no, watch the surveillance of the footage I sent you. You can see that there are people dressed in dark clothing. Okay, I don't know your name. Um, who wrote that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this video. Why do you do it? What do you mean why I'm going to do it? Because I'm an editor and a cinematographer. It's my, I've been doing this for years. That's why I can do it. I did it with the, with the Savannah Soto case, and I'm the one that found the towel. Of course I can do that. No, watch the surveillance of the footage I sent you. You can see there are, are people dressed in black clothing. Okay, Tiffany Ann. Remember, guys, send if you have important information, send it to my Facebook or post it in Discord immediately. Immediately. Nothing said. Nothing said. Uh, let me go to the let me open up my DMs because I'm I'm gonna break down this video. I promise you I'm gonna break it down. Is it possible Riley sat down on the wood fence barrier right before the bridge? Could he have dropped his credit card down the hill and it was one of the, one of his, if it was, okay, so Christopher, we know he had a blue wallet. Cards inside a blue wallet, cards don't fly out. But could he have sit down on the fence in a barrier? Absolutely, Christopher, absolutely. The man, he's sporadic, he's drunk, he's disoriented, he's, he doesn't have proper balance. Because he obviously drunk too much. So sad to say. And but it's not his fault. He's having a good time. He's having a good time. He, he's just having a good time. And um Yeah, Christopher, your first couple of sentences. Absolutely, Christopher. Absolutely. That that's a huge possibility. Huge possibility. Sounds like he is answering his phone. Hello? Could be. Oh my god. Yes, it could be. But we need to check phone records and hopefully the police could give out something to the public. Look at the body camera of this time. Cross-reference that time with any time text messages, which I do have that as well. Could he possibly got into a car we do not see? I didn't. Possibly? I mean, I, 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 who's going to pick him up? Why would he go into a car he doesn't know? Maybe awesome. Uh, check out Red Jeep after two cars. Red Jeep after two cars. The Blended Family, thank you for the nine ninety nine to two. Check out. Check out Red Jeep after two cars. College student. Interesting. You guys are thinking. I'm loving this. This is why I want you guys here. I want you guys here. I want you guys here. You guys are thinking. Check out Red Jeep. Red Jeep. What red Jeep? Are you talking about this red truck? Oh 
Red Jeep. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. First ever New York. Right there, that's the red jeep you're talking about on the left. The video doesn't go any further. I can't check something that I can't, I don't have the power over. If, I can't. Don't worry about it. Are you guys going to be here when I edit this video? I'm going to edit, I'm going to edit this right after the videos. I'm going to enhance the audio. I'm going to try to clear the video up, put some contrast more to try to identify his figure and probably put a heat map, if anything. Put a heat map on this. Uh, Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Very good picture. What's your name? Melissa At uh, Atkins. Very good picture, Melissa. Very good picture. It's not that clear. Actually, it's not that clear at all. People have said that there is a white vehicle that is very single vehicle. You can see Riley can't be a coincidence. Uh, in the video, after the cop said done, coughing in a distance, you can hear, whoa. I was hesitant to hear it at first, but then I did see one person say the same exact thing. Um, I know everybody is saying, yes, edit the video. I'm going to. Let me watch these videos and get and get up to speed. Hit, um, um. You guys are definitely thinking, by the way. I'm loving the thinking. I'm loving the thinking. You guys are on to something. Somebody said a comment that I can't find. They were on to something. I can't find the comment. Damn it. Timothy. Thank you so much for the 499, Timothy. Keep saying these comments if I miss it. You guys are you guys are thinking. Maybe someone called him. Always film. Yes, I said I'm thinking. Possible. But then we would have heard something. A ringtone of some sort. Timothy, thank you so much for the 499. Christopher, oh my God, this is like your fourth or fifth dono, Christopher. You're crazy today. He was running right before he come up to the officer as well. He makes sense. He sat down for a hot second. Yes, Christopher. Logic, logic. Christopher, Christopher, that is true. That is a possibility. Christopher, we're going to run through the maps, Christopher. I'm loving the way you're thinking. Yes, I didn't think about that. That is very true. He gets tired. He did fall when he ran. When he ran, increase... Who, 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 who's a doctor here or, or someone in the field? Um, when you're drunk and increase cortisol, increase adrenaline, maybe that can, uh, you know, the levels, you're more disoriented, have less balance. Absolutely. Ab God forbid, that's probably where he fell, where he disappeared. So the officer stopped, kept running. Christopher, I'm loving it. Barbie for the, with the 299. Thank you, Barbie. Love your name. Everybody loves a good Barbie. Thank you so much, Barbie. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Slow motion. I got you, guys. I'm going to do the editing. I promise you. I got you. All right. Let's get caught up, everybody. Uh, let's start with the videos. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, we have 67 shares on Facebook. That's actually a good start. Uh, hit that share button for me. I would appreciate that very much, guys. YouTube is at... 382 likes and a thousand people watching. Hit that like button for me, YouTube. I would appreciate it so, so much. Increase endorphins. I, I just thought that his like his, his equilibrium is a little off. Old Riley Strain, who disappeared from downtown Nashville, the Missouri College student, was last seen on March 8th after being removed from a bar on Broadway. Ten days later, he is still nowhere to be found. We're bringing you team coverage this morning. News News Peyton Kennedy is live near the Cumberland River where Riley was last seen on camera. But first, let's get right to Jaxie Pigeon with new developments in the search now. Jaxie. New developments. Okay. Well, Nicole, it was right here under the James Robertson Parkway Bridge where two volunteers stumbled upon Riley's bank card. Now, I'm going to have Jerry show you. Jerry, our photojournalist. This is all new videos, by the way. I don't, I'm not doing no replays. I did, yesterday was yesterday. This is all new videos. Shout out to all my Facebook star senders, by the way. I, I do see some of you guys. I'm going to get to your comments in just a second, Facebook. You are never forgotten. I got you here where those same volunteers as well as others are searching today through mounds and mounds of rubble um, you know 
same volunteers. They tell me it's fairly steep and it's hard to see from above, but Jerry went down there a little bit earlier to maybe give you some insight into what it looks like down there. Like I said, lots of trees, lots of slopes, lots of trash. Uh, they were- Wow, look at that. That looks like somebody that sleeps there. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Look at that. Embankment. I learned a new word yesterday. I'm so excited. Actually using a rake to kind of poke at some of the evidence and also chaining themselves in to try to go down without falling. So very, very careful in their efforts. And that is also what Metro Police are urging you to do if you are wanting to search. Uh, when I spoke to Metro Police this morning, they confirmed that card was Riley's. And even though it was found here under the James Robertson Parkway Bridge, officials say the last place Riley was seen on camera remains the surveillance footage of him crossing first and gay, which is about 700 feet from here. Now, the discovery of Riley's card happened around the same time uh, with the Cumberland River. They had that body found also on Sunday, but officials tell us the body found did not match the description of Riley Strain or 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers, who's still missing out of Hendersonville. Now, Metro Police say it was TWRA that located that body that still has not been decided who that belongs to. Uh, we know who it does not belong to, but they're also in talks with the barge operators who are riding around the Cumberland area to be on the lookout. They say they're typically the ones who find bodies in the Cumberland River. We'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more. But for now, live in downtown Nashville, Jaxie Pigeon, News 2. Thank you, Jaxie. And with much of the surge for Riley Strain focused along the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, and as she mentioned, another body found in the river this weekend, we asked Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell about the area's safety. Peyton Kennedy is live along the Cumberland now with his response this morning. Peyton. Yeah, Nikkel, in the search for Riley, Mayor Freddie O'Connell says Metro officials have been working nonstop, and he wants the family to know that. And while much of the search has been focused along the riverbank, he says he doesn't have concerns right now about the river, and he wants to look at this holistically and find out what really happened leading up to those final points that we saw Riley. He did mention some points, though, along the riverbank here that we'll show you, specifically on the east bank by the bridge building and the Cumberland Park, where there could be be some tweaks and improvements to restrict the easy access to that waterfront. And he says this will be in discussion as they work on the East Bank development. And they've already started discussions with Metro Water Services about improving the access to the riverfront or more so making it safer for residents here, as well as other safety concerns like flooding, for example. This is something that has the city's full attention and we are working on it every, every single day until we discover what happened here. We're always looking for um, making sure that our infrastructure can be safer and that's been a top priority since I took office. And for cases that involve the river and violent crime. He says they always look at crime holistically here. He also mentioned the safe bar program and studying how the downtown environment plays into the overall safety of Nashville as well. Hmm. That's interesting. It's good to see that they, they're going to put better infrastructure. I mean, it's clearly how easy it is to access that embankment. I can't stop saying embankment. Another video, guys. Let's watch this video. Let's watch this video. Uh, Dion says, is it possible watching him uh, in the bar? Do you think that something was put in his drink? He's so tall that someone had to see him. It, um, I can't say someone put it in his drink. He had one drink at one bar versus all the other drinks he had at all the other bars. He did go bar hopping. We know that. Confirmed that by one of the family members. It's a fact. Does drugs have a play? Possible. Oh, my God. Hmm. And L. Uh, oh, Amy, excuse me. Amy says um, he may have mixed different alcohols. Yes, that's what it, I mean. I, I would assume that. I would assume so. I heavily would assume so. Mixed or different. He must have took a lot. He definitely took in a lot of alcohol. Um, let's watch the second video, guys. Let's see what we can, uh, uh, Breezy says, could he have been drunk and just, uh, put the debit and card in the pocket because he was leaving versus putting it in a wallet? Why is this that? 
that's actually a possibility, uh, Breezy. Breezy said this over here. It's a possibility that he just, um, it must have just put it the credit card by itself versus the wallet. I mean, that is one thing out, out of all the other cards that we, 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 we found. I know Ashley R. This is the, my only provider here. I'm so sorry. Melissa Dunlop says, I heard drunk, but that's the problem. We are all hearing something different. It's called auditory illusions. Hopefully the cop will come forward and remember. Hopefully, that's a good comment, by the way. That's a very good comment, Melissa. Tonight, a clue that could help bring missing Missouri student Riley Strain home. Good evening, I'm Kelsey Gibbs. Metro Police say Riley's bank card was found on the Cumberland River embankment along Gay Street. Our Nikki Hauser has been in contact with the women who say they called police and posted to TikTok after making the discovery. Another day shining light on Riley Strain's disappearance. Somebody just doesn't just vanish. Like, where, where did he go? On day nine, a potential break in the case. Among the trash that litters the Cumberland River embankment along Gay Street, Metro Police say Riley's bank card was found. It's a start. It's a lead. It's, it's something that I hope leads to more answers. Jana Wright says she knows the two women who discovered the card. They regularly post on TikTok and immediately called police when they found it. Over the last few days, Jana's searched for Riley with them. We're a real small group. Um, sometimes we're, we're a party of one and some days we're a party of three. And they're not the only ones to do that. Pretty much I have four um, teenagers that are, I, older teenagers that are around 20 to 22. So it really have, to me, it's, it hits home a little bit. This father and firefighter retraced Riley's steps to make sure nothing was missed. I know they have a lot of resources out here. But I think the more people that uh, are actually here um, may find little things like they did today. Um, and it could, um, you know, put the puzzle together. It's a puzzle that's still not finished. And it's taking a toll on those who care. You know, the family deserves answers. Riley's family, police, and so many of you pushing forward to find Riley as we keep hope alive another day. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5. We know you care about finding Riley. It's why we're keeping in close contact with the family, police, and others looking for answers. Metro Police say they will continue to search for him. As they should. Well said, lady. Well said. Well said. Okay. Got my boy Riley right here. see something here. Officer Reginald Young spoke with Strain on Gay Street in an ex post. The police department said Strain does not appear distressed. That doesn't mean not intoxicated. Don't get it twisted. Don't get don't get those words confused. Shown was Riley's brief exchange with the greetings with the officer Reginald Young on Gay Street south of the Woodland Street Bridge on the night of 38th. Riley did not appear distressed. Officer Young was there. Yeah, I come on. I knew nobody was following him. Or it didn't sound like it. Come on. Come on. I knew that. Come on. Of course. Of course. Nobody was chasing him or none of that. No, we saw that. It was none of that. None of that. Christopher says, uh, thank you so much. Christopher, what the hell? Chris, what's Chris? Christopher, thank you so much. Christopher said, I wonder if this footage of him uh, paying at the bar and right before being kicked out, what's the chance he just put his car in just his pocket versus his wallet? He was heading to the other bar. That is a very, very good possibility. Very good. Very good. Maybe re a reason why we can't find his wallet. That I mean, this is what I'm saying. I told you. So people were saying that it's not that important to, to know the footage inside the bar. Yes, it is. Every detail matters. I'm telling you, it could be the smallest detail that can solve, answer one question. That question could answer another one. That, that answers another question. These things matter. And this is a very, very, another good super chat, Christopher. Absolutely. If we could know the footage of, from the hotel to bar one, to bar two, to the last bar, we would know. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Well said. Well said, Christopher. Well said. Crystal with the super chat. Thank you so much, Crystal. Oh, my gosh. Uh, fam rep made statement that he attempted to go to another bar after Luke's and he... Where's... Hey, did you have that? For... Crystal, do you have that? Um, can you send me that? Crystal? Guys, if you have any information, send it to my Facebook or Discord. Please put at Nov on Discord. Okay? That's a very good statement, uh, Crystal. I, I, I want to I look into that. Brooke with the 999 says, I live in Nashville my entire life. And if I have so much knowledge, it needed my brother works at her homeless shelters too. It's scary how horrible it's getting out there. I'd love to answer any questions, says Brooke. Brooke, let me tell you something. We... We're trying to, you know, and uh, this is why I take phone calls. I try to do interviews with people. I actually am talking to one of my mods who's talking to someone who is recording her her travels looking for Riley. So you guys get ready for that footage for today. And if my mods, they're going to interview her. Um, absolutely. We see we can get some exclusive video footage for Novesity from this beautiful person. Uh, I believe her name is Angie, but we're going to, uh, Angie, I, re I recommend not commenting if it's you. i tell you why later. Um, but shout out to Angie in the chat. All right. Net Jesus Christ. You guys are, what is going on? You guys are on fire today. Netta with the 99 says, if he didn't seem distressed, he was still out of place where he was. Very well said. That's the point that I'm making because people get that confused. Just because he is in distress, that doesn't mean he isn't, something's wrong. Near a homeless camp in an area where, where a lot of people are, are not walking around. Right, a lot of people. And we saw how dark it gets. Good super chat, Netta. Absolutely. He is still intoxicated. He is still intoxicated. That's, that's still a thing. That's, that's still happening. Let's watch the next video, ladies and gentlemen. This video was posted only six hours ago. Only six hours ago. Guys, if the video feed on Novesity gets cut off or it loads or it buffers, stay. We'll be right back. My provider sucks and I'm not giving you no more money. Kinder T. Kinder T. I remember you sent a super thanks at the end of the podcast. I saw that. My notification popped up. Kinder T. Shout out to Kinder T in YouTube right here. Thank you so much. She, like, she was just sending at the end. She sent a super thanks. It's different from super chat. Super thanks. I appreciate you. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go back to your comment and I'm going to highlight it on a YouTube video. Uh, if he was distressed, why didn't he ask for help? Or he, No, he wasn't, Kinder T. He, he wasn't in distress. He wasn't. I'm going to repeat this. He wasn't. He was not in distress. He was not. He didn't appear. It didn't seem like it. He was not. He, 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 he was not. He wasn't. Okay, I want to be clear on that. Everybody, Facebook especially. Facebook, he was not. He wasn't. I'm reading super chats over at, um, I'm reading comments over at Facebook. Uh, Maria, Facebook says, uh, Novesity, do you think he was drunk or possibly drugged? One of those. Higher possibility he was just drunk. Could he take weed? Yes. But again, you know, Thank you so much, Isabel Cortez over at Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are, you guys are great. Um, Alona Gay with the 500 stars. Thank you, Alona Gay. How are you? Thank you so much. I want him back. It's the longest we've ever gone without talking to him. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Riley, we're still here, Bubba. We're coming for you. Just help us find you. Our top story tonight as we continue to cover this missing young man. Another day in the search for Riley Strain has come and gone. And now with thunderstorms out there in Nashville, no sign of this missing college student tonight. He has not been seen in nearly a week after a night out on Broadway last Friday. Today, crews were back along the Cumberland River looking for any sign of the missing University of Missouri student. Now we're learning new details about his disappearance, as well as how Metro Police crews are trying to track his last location. Our Sharon Dankwa joins us now to break down what we know here tonight, Sharon. Marius Tracy, I got a lot of questions from people about tracking Riley's phone and what's being done to get a hold of its location.
These are the surveillance videos we've seen so far. You see 22-year-old Riley Strain stumbling through the streets of Nashville. Police say Riley was kicked out of Luke's bar on Broadway Friday night while on a Mizzou fraternity trip. He told friends he was heading back to their hotel. But video shows him walking up 3rd Avenue North, turning onto Church Street and Gay Street, then disappearing after this last Life 360 ping near James Robertson Parkway. I'm going to take a pause right here, and I am very certain this is where it happened. If I don't... Yo, chat. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube, I just saw and thought of something. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on, chat. Chat. Remember what we learned about the pinging system when the phone is either low or cut off? Yo, I just thought of this. Hold on, hold on. Chat, look at the ping. Look at the ping, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, I just thought of this. Look at the ping. Look at the ping. Right? That is that is the actual ping. Look at the position of the ping. We learned that at the end, at the end, it is more accurate. Remember? Look at exactly where the ping is. We're, you're so focused. Can you hear me? Wait, wait, what? Remember what we learned about at the end, how accurate the ping is, right? When I start up the, start up the phone and the ending of the phone. Y'all, look at the ping. The ping is on the left side of the street, not the right. Could it be somebody just probably took it, but... Thank you, Breezy, for letting me know that. Shout out to Breezy on Facebook. Look at that. Look, look, look closely. It's on the left side. And in the video, in the video, in the video, I said that he could possibly cross the street. You see? And then we go back. We go back. Jesus, chicken strips. Hold on. This cruise Friday night. Hold on. We go back. You got to be kidding me. It's on that left side. It's right. It's on this side. Look, remember the accuracy of the ping we learned. So let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And here. This is, this is where the ping was, right, right here, right here, right here. This is exactly where that ping was, exactly. Hold on real quick. I'm trying to be accurate. I don't want to be wrong here. That ping was right here. Let's go back. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that his body's there. I'm saying. It, it could be another clue. Mm -hmm. 
Breezy, can you screenshot that comment that that, that girl Tiffany said? I want Tiffany and I want to make sure I don't you know. It's not about anybody else. Hold on. Christopher says, I don't know uh, about anyone else, but being drunk and seeing a police officer can sober you up real quick. Yes! Oh my God! Christopher, who are you? You're, 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 you're part of the bros. You understand that now. Yes! He is right! Yo, y'all don't understand. Yo, I, will, I would never remember. Yo, we did not want to get in trouble or seem weird, especially in New York City. When you're drinking and then when you see an officer or you do something... Trust me, you'd be like, hey, officer, how's it going? Oh, my God, Christopher, who are you, dude? Are you new to the channel? You've been spot on. That is so true. Oh, my God, Christopher, you need to be part of the nation, brother. You, you need to be part of Nova City Nation, man. That is so true. You are so right. Love you. Sending you another message. Please look at the bridge when the officer faces the way you, you can see some by the, some of the bridge by the dark. Okay, I will look at the bridge. Everybody, any questions about the bridge? I'm going to sa save it. Save it. Save it. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, guys, I think I may be on to something finding probably an additional clue if somebody did not already look at this specific area. But have a look at this. That's on that, that's on that bridge left side. That's on that... the could be upper deck that's you know what i'm do you know what this looked like it looks like the guy took the stairs and went left because it pings here it oh but it could have been here because that's not on that's on top you can't get there that's that's here by the stairs. Yes, right here. That's right there by the stairs, right? How can you get up there? Wait, you would have to be at the edge, like right. You would have to, the, the location is right there, right here. That's where it is. But that can also mean below, but but it doesn't ping. Oh God, man, this is making me think, bro. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm, I'm seeing. It look, it's the left. It's it's adjacent to this. It's a little out. It 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 protrudes out of the lane, going gay gay street. It it's out of it. It's out. It's to the left. This ping is to the left a little more. The ping could be anywhere in the purple circle. I don't think it goes like that. The purple circle is just... Uh, oh, well, uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah. I gotta... I gotta... Damn, I thought I did more research on the pinging system yesterday. I guess there's more to learn. Frank's mom says the bar kicked him out because he was arguing to pay the bill of zero dollar bill. They shouldn't. Where did you get that information from, Frankie's uh, mom? Frankie's mom, where did you get that information that he was arguing to pay a zero dollar bill? Where did you get that information from? Uh, Mods, can you look out for her chat, her, her comment? I want to know where she got that from. Uh, that's basically what Christopher said. He's actually correct. The, the circle at the bottom, though, at the bottom, not the one with the R, the one at the bottom. But yeah, Christopher, you are correct. Uh, this, uh, the Sylvia says, if he did answer his phone, whoever called him, uh, I believe a friend at the bar would have his number on his phone. Match up the time. I'm hearing that it is girl. If it, it's his girlfriend, right, chat? I'm hearing that somebody said it, it's his girlfriend. Uh, supporter uh, Deanna over at Facebook says, a ping is only on the center triangulation of the area from the one to four different towers. And there is a fest, there's a few feet, about three, three to four miles. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, 
let's let's finish watching this. A 360 ping near James Robertson Parkway. The last contact with the friends was after he left Luke Bryan's. I believe that one of them had tried to reach out to him. I don't remember if it was by phone or by text. I think he said that he heard, like it sounded like he was outside. He could hear a lot of loud, uh, a lot of loud noise. Does that make any sense? Did you guys, did you guys just hear what he just said? Respectfully, respectfully. It, that, that, does that make sense? Did, did, anybody, did anybody just catch what he just said? Not saying that there's something weird. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. He okay. If you missed it, he just said that he last reached out to his friend via text message or call. I'm not too sure, something like that. But then he said he can hear his area. How how is it text if you can hear the area? Does that does that make does that make Robertson Parkway? Listen. The last contact with the friends was after he left Luke Bryan's. I believe that one of them had tried to reach out to him. I don't remember if it was by phone or by text. By phone or by text? Who, are you an officer? What who are you? I think he said that he heard, like it sounded like he was outside. He could hear a lot of loud, uh, a lot of loud noise. If he said that he heard a lot of noise, then that means that he called him. It wasn't a text. You just said, you know. Outside, uh, but he couldn't give any more information, and then he wasn't able to actually speak to him. Police have sounds like Riley had his pocket dialing phone on. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like pocket dialing. Sounds like he must have picked up the phone and put it in his pocket or accidentally picked it up. That is, that's exactly what that sounds like, but I can't confirm that. Spent days scouring the area for any clues, but Metro Cold Case Sergeant Robert Nelson says they're also digging through Riley's call logs, text messages, and any location pings that could have gotten lost. Some of the data we're still waiting on. There's a legal process when you're getting some of this information, and so sometimes it's multiple steps, and a lot of it depends on the company that you're trying to get that information, whether it's social media or a cell phone company. They're also looking for information on the Apple Watch Riley was wearing. I asked a phone location specialist what else could come from these devices. He says in some of these cases, the companies who created the phone or watch worn can track down more precise locations of them before they lost power. But right there now, it is. We have there it is. It could be a voice test. Well, Let's see if I could debunk that in a way where how difficult it is to access that. With Apple's newest update, you would have to click the plus sign, click the audio, and when you do that, you, you have to click, click to send it now. Before, you could just press the right side. I, I doubt it will be a voice note. Um, doubt that. And plus, he was descriptive. He says text or call. Voice text is very descriptive. It's, it's, it's three, different, three different things. I don't think it was voice text. I don't think so. Because if it was in his pocket, you would need to click, click, and then... No, and then he would need to send it to hear it. I don't think it was voice text. I don't think so. I think it could have been pocket dialing or he picked up. And that, that's, that's what... It, there's so much steps into a voice text. I don't think so. No. I've requested some of that information. We've done emergency pings, and we're just trying to get that information from them. Sergeant Nelson says right now they're just hoping to get any new information from Riley's phone or watch as soon as possible. Now, right now, police say Riley's last known location is somewhere in between the Woodland Street Bridge and the James Robertson Parkway Bridge. Marius, Tracy. Sharon Danqua, tonight, thank you. Tonight, we're also learning new details about why Riley left Luke's 32 Bridge. His stepfather says he was asked to leave that bar because bartenders suspected he had been overserved. Riley's stepfather says Riley went up to the bar to pay his tab, but he didn't have a tab open. The bartender told him he had to leave because they thought he, again, had been overserved. This week, the Tennessee ABC opened up an investigation into his disappearance because it is illegal to serve alcohol to people who are visibly drunk. Riley's mother says she just wants to see her son again. I think my last, the last text was around 7:45, and I just said I love you, and he said I love you too. Riley is set to graduate in a few weeks. A GoFundMe to help his family stay in Nashville throughout the search has raised upwards of $38,000. We'll have more on the search starting at 4 a.m. on WSMV4 today. Wait a minute. Give me one second, guys. Hold on real quick.
Somebody sent me something. Somebody sent me something. I'm going to try to read it for you guys. Shout out to, somebody sent me something in the group. I want to give a big shout out to Facebook. Whoever sent my podcast to these groups, I want to say thank you very much. That's, that's very, I appreciate that. That's smart. That's intelligent. I really appreciate it very much. Um, thank you for sharing my uh, podcast on Facebook groups. That's very important. Uh, there's a post in Discord that a family friend posted on Facebook. It has a lot of good info. Uh, I will check it out. Is is this it? Is this is this the post right here? Melly says with the one ninety nine says King uh, King Nove. <laughs> Details of this case are suspect suspect. Oh right, our suspect. Yeah yeah yeah. Our, our su well, I'm just surprised Melly about the, the officer not. I'm just surprised that the officer didn't assisted him. I don't. You know I didn't. I'm surprised at that Melly. What we know today on the missing of Riley Strain, the police took the family to view the recently released police video. Okay, let's see if we can bump this up a little bit. I hope you guys can read this. I don't know. I'll read it for you. Sunday afternoon, after leaving the scene of the debit card find, what was viewed was the footage from inside and outside the bar all the way to the police body cam footage that was released today. Several businesses volunteered footage along the route voluntarily without being asked to help fill in the few pieces along the way. We now have a larger visual timeline, which is important, to go with a digital tracking, one we had of Riley's journal. Let's cover a few things. Riley was escorted down the stairs with a fraternity brother, and that fraternity brother did go back in the bar once Riley was outside, That's which is fucked up. Riley was asked to leave, not because of a fight or anything of that type of altercation between the visitors at the bar, male or female also. That is as much as I can give on that. I mean, we now know why he left. Because, uh, well, I think they kicked him out because, you know, they 86 him. Um, Riley tried to go across the street to another bar and was declined entry. Huh. Then Riley started his journey. Yeah, that's alcohol. Yeah, my man. He was... I'm going to stick in with the alcohol. The, the first theory that I had, I'm going to stick with that, honestly. Diana, thank you for the 100 stars, Diana. Shelly became a supporter over at Facebook. Guys, when you become a supporter over at Facebook, make sure you sign up via browser, not through the Apple... Not through the uh, Facebook app, through Apple. Um... They take 30%. Just, I'm just going to be honest. Make sure you sign up through the browser, Safari, or your laptop computer. Uh, it's very easy. Um, thank you so much. Let's continue. The food truck video where people are thinking Riley was in an altercation with someone is not a viable lead. There was an altercation in that intersection, but with two other individuals. That is why we think Riley went around to the back of the food truck when he was running. Right, I saw the video. I already saw that already. One of the individuals in the altercation went running behind the food truck when they got freed up, and I think Riley thought they were they meant be chasing him. I don't think that. No, no, I don't. That I don't think so because he was running multiple times. Um, do this in the current condition of the videos. If you look in the upper corner towards. The, Towards the fire truck coming up, you can barely see someone running down the sidewalk away from the truck. There is uh, info was confirmed by family from viewing the, uh, the food truck personal videos. The last and most recent part of the puzzle is the police video. That's the video we just saw, ladies and gentlemen. The officer had no reason to stop Riley, unfortunately. Riley was Riley when he passed the officer, personality-wise, and was very polite and kept his distance. He, he was, he was. Questions from me, though. The officer was around 100 yards, give or take, from Riley's last ping on his phone, within minutes apart. If a physical altercation had occurred, the officer probably would have heard it, especially since he's already 
in the area looking for a smash and grab thieves. He did not hear anything, nor did he, nor did his cam pick up anything in the distance. Even after more of the video was viewed, there has been zero verified parts of Riley's cl uh, clothes found also, or anywhere also, or signs of vomiting anywhere in that area. I mean, you know, I don't know who this person is, but this person make it seems like they were there. Like they, they, they saw the entire footage, which I can get a FOIA request and get it myself. But any signs of vomiting anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, but we're talking about days. You know what I'm saying? Days had passed. And you said that if the cam didn't pick up the audio and the cops didn't see it, then he just didn't see it. Look at the distance between the first and second bridge. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know what he did after he made this remark with the red truck. I'm just hoping that the person is talking like this, and that they actually saw the full footage. You know, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know who this person is. If this person is the family member, then... I'm going to say, you know, if the officer didn't, if the camera didn't pick it up, or the, or the, it just didn't pick it up. I'm going to be honest with you. It just didn't pick it up. I, I, I don't know. I, I believe if this person is for the family, if you saw the full footage, the full footage, then it just, all I can say is if you just didn't hear it, then it, you, you just didn't hear it. I mean, the distance is pretty large. I'm going to be honest. We're going to look at the, we're going to look, we're going we're gonna to check out the distance. The debit card being found and not covered in dirt or even really dusty makes me curious also. That's actually a, 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 a somewhat of a good in indication. That card was supposed to be laying there for eight days. So does so so is the vomit. And only partially covered by a few leaves when found. Thank you to the two ladies who also okay, okay, okay. I have more questions as of now, but I don't know. Hop. Some of the Zoom videos and spreading the word. Yes, we are spreading the word, my brother. We are doing that. And that's it. And this is the pictures of, I believe, could be the guy that's speaking. I'm not too sure. And we see Riley on the left. Fingerprints on the card. Nicole, that's what somebody, I, I don't know who said that. I think it was Netta. Somebody said a very, 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 very good comment like that. And I was like, yeah, that, that would have been important. Um, Christopher, damn Christopher, how, dude. Christopher says usually GPS location will update when you open your phone. Yes, uh, if he was on the phone, that last ping could be where he was on the phone talking and texting. Well, when you not open, that's actually not true, Christopher. What we learned yesterday about the pinging system, we learned that when turning on, and how long it was from one point to the another, it will be in that, it will be in that cycle. So we, because we see that ping, that that is highly likely where it's turned on or turned off or just a regular ping. Those are the three outcomes. I can't say that's when he like like if I just do this and do this, that doesn't mean that's where it's gonna ping. That no. The, for your phone is continuing. What I learned about phones is that it was is consistent, always looking for a signal unless you put on airplay mode. If you put on airplay mode, it is not consistently looking for um, a signal. I, I, I learned that one. Um, Stacy Sout, thank you for the $1 cash app. I appreciate that, Stacy. Thank you so much. Um, let's continue. Melly, what are you, Melly? What are you saying? Hold on, real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Give me one second. Wait, Virgo, you gifted five subs. Virgo twenty two over at YouTube. I did not see that. I do apologize. Virgo over at YouTube with the five gifted. Thank you so 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 much, Virgo. I appreciate you. 
Linda Barros, join Novesity class member. Welcome to the family. Enjoy your perks, membership, and priority. Enjoy everything. Thank you for joining. All right, guys, let's continue with another video. We're gonna we're gonna take whatever we can at this point. We we really want some answers. O'Reilly Strain's family is holding out for answers after the 22-year-old's debit card was found along the Cumberland River this weekend. And this afternoon, this morning, Metro Police releasing some new video of Strain talking with an officer the night he went missing. Thank you for staying with us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. Now, local officials appear to be scaling back their search efforts despite growing interest in this case across the country. News 2's Nikki McGee has been following this story and joins us from a fairly quiet riverfront this evening. Nikki. Well, Mark, yesterday we saw lots of volunteer search efforts right in this area being just feet away from Riley's phone and where it was last ping. And of course, those search efforts did pay off yesterday. They finding Riley's cell phone at the bottom of this hill here, right behind me, his debit card. Nada, can you send that video footage? I mean, can you send it? You said no video, right? Can you send it to me? Hmm. By the way, guys, we may have to do an update on Madeline Soto. I know you guys have been waiting for me to do an update. I know that. I know. And we are going to have that update. Hold on. They said there's a new video. Netta, hold on. I think Netta said it right. Yes. Hmm. Jackie Mathis, Jackie Mathis with the Venmo. She said, uh, with, with the $10 Venmo, she said, go find him, Nov. I appreciate that the direct don't know. I didn't say that. Was it Netto? Somebody. Oh, Brandy said it. I'm sorry, Netta. Brandy. Brandy said that. Brandy. Being right along that riverbank, but as you can see today, many of those efforts have died down. Police tell us they're focusing on other areas of the investigation. Today, Metro Police tell us there is no official search scheduled. However, they do believe helicopters are still flying over the area occasionally. Now, this is certainly a contrast from what we've seen from several days last week. OEM out on the river with boats, canines, and drones to search this area. Today, MNPD says detectives are focused on following up on tips and looking into They're cell phone data. Down, However, today we did see the, the doubt, two women who found right. This is live right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that share, hit that like, live. Ashley, I know live. how you and I no. have covered these stories multiple times. The police are rarely this live, open live. with how the investigation is going. So these things are kind of not equal to me. Yeah, it's so baffling. Um, Caitlin, stay on it and jump back in during the show. Like, break in if you get any updates as well. Because I know this sometimes can change by, by the minute. In the meantime, um, yesterday the Nashville police held a special briefing for Riley's family. Uh, they were able to look over evidence and ask the police officers questions. Riley's parents join me live now. His mom and stepfather, Michelle and Chris Whited, and his father, Ryan Gilbert. Thank you to all three of you for uh, taking the time tonight to speak with me. And may I just say, I am so sorry for what you are all going through. I can't imagine the stress um, that you're under and, and how traumatizing this must be. So let's get right to it. Let's help to drill down what we know and get the public um, working hard. So Michelle, you met with the police yesterday. Were they able to share anything with you that was at least satisfying? Anything that you're able to share with us or not able to share with us? No, they just let us know um, where they are in the investigation and, um, and the videos that everybody has seen. So what the media knows and what the public knows is the same as what you know, right? I'm going to clarify just a little bit. They, just so you know, we requested the meeting Friday afternoon late that we get to see the video footage. We had not seen anything or really heard from them too much throughout the week, the previous week. So we were getting frustrated. We wanted to see what they had. So it's not like... This was one of those deals. It came up after we called them to tell them that the TikTokers had found the debit card because they didn't know that it had been found. Supposedly, they didn't know that the call had came in. We arrived before the police. So I'll tell you what. I um, 
I understand the, the sensitivity that you all are under. You do not want to criticize the police because right now they are your lifeline to continuing this investigation, to finding Riley. I, on the other hand, I can. And I am steaming mad that I interviewed a woman who works with the homeless who says she could have sworn she saw that shirt uh, on a homeless man who was acting in an unusual way, had an unusual behavior and that he had a bike, which is not normal, didn't ask for food, which is not normal, um, and that the shirt was uh, perfectly clean underneath his dirty hoodie. Tell and him, she a, has not him. been questioned, even as of today when we checked back with her. So, Chris, I'll just ask you if if you were able to, to talk to the police about this, if they mentioned anything about it, if they've discounted it in any way and why. They have not mentioned that to us at all. Wow. We are aware of that. We've heard the same comment. We've also heard multiple people that have tried to call Crime Stoppers and leave tips and been told they don't know anything about a Riley Strain case. So lots of confusion. We, you know, we're struggling. We're, we're 10 days in, you know? It's, uh, yeah. I can imagine. And I'll tell you what. Like I said, I can criticize the police. Um, I agree that you guys just have to keep your heads up and work with them. But Ryan, I, I will also say this, to have TikTokers who volunteered to look for Riley, find that bank card in what looked like a homeless uh, mess of discarded clothing and junk on the riverbed, Tell them, made Ashley. me really angry because I feel like it was right in the vicinity where, where Riley's phone pinged and that there should have been a grid search done. This was found days and days after perhaps it should have been. Ryan, are they saying anything about that card and about the fact that it was TikTokers, not the police that found it? No, there hadn't necessarily been anything said about that. Um, one would assume that since it was found in the vicinity of his last known whereabouts, that that should have been canvassed pretty good. Uh, I think it just shines lights on, shines light on the B minus job that the police force may be doing and following through and uh, being detailed on this case. I know they're overwhelmed, but it was at the location, you know. It's maddening. Um, it's absolutely maddening that a member of the public who just wanted to help was able to find a critical piece of evidence um, that it had the police done a grid search in that exact same area might very well have had no I've seen it uh, uh, to this no please preview has ended connect your tv provider no no oh no my leg oh no guys i'm going to have to wait till they release this on youtube which is going to be like in 1 hour no! If I sign into my Spectrum account, they're going to say... No! I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, don't get mad. No! Damn it, says Lucy. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't be mad at me. I... 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 I, I like, hold on. Let me see if I can trick this. I can't trick it. Hold on. <laughs> Would make sense that maybe that police video was just a momentary snap to it, um, but that his condition really was um, extraordinarily inebriated. I do want to ask this. Chris, do you know if the police know or don't know whether Riley ever got across that bridge. They do not know. Literally, the last place they have him is right before, I believe, the James Robertson Bridge. Um, there's no cameras. You know, we're talking he's 100 yards, 100, 110 yards, maybe, away from where the cop was. And, you know, disappears we don't know Told that's, you, that's the part that bothers us is you, we don't know we didn't know anymore we didn't have any new leads or anything sunday when the credit the debit card was found 
That's the first new bit of information that we'd had okay, since Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. And we've been getting a lot of tips and leads coming directly you, to Alicia. us because people are not able to get through, are not saying they're able to get through, um, or they're finally getting through and then nobody's following up with them. Um, so, you know, we're trying to be as patient as possible, but time is of the essence as of right now. You know, we, there's things that should be happening, questions that should be answered, people that should be talked to. I, I'm just at a loss. I don't know, you know, when I hopped in the truck with my wife and we were on our way down here, we never expected this would still be going on. We expected that we would have had him found within the first 24 hours of being here and on our way home. So, you know, a lot of sleepless nights. We're running on adrenaline. Um, we're wore out, we're, we're, we're getting frustrated. We don't, we're just, I don't know how else to say it. Well, I, I can tell you this, um, in your next communication with the Nashville police, um, if you get an answer as to why Melissa Martin has not been questioned yet, who works with the homeless and recognized a homeless man that she had seen many times, wearing a shirt that Melissa looked exactly Martin. like that, that was lily white and clean under his filthy other clothing, his hoodie. Um, if they can answer you as to why they haven't interviewed her yet, uh, please come back on the show and let us know. But we will continue the story. We'll continue asking these questions and we will have you back. And I am sending you all of our prayers and our love. Uh, Michelle Whited, Chris Whited, and Ryan Gilbert, thank you for being on. And, and here, folks, for you out there, take a good look at Riley. He's six seven. And around 160 pounds, he stands out. So anyone with information about Riley's disappearance, please contact the Metro Nashville Police Department. The number 615-862-8600. Again, 615-862-8600. I'll go one further here. If they throw you into voicemail, okay? If they don't bother taking your report and they throw you into voicemail like they did Melissa Martin, call Crime Stoppers and then call me. <laughs> call me. Because we will take your report, and then we will do our damnedest to ask the police why they're not. Coming up, it is a strange notion. They torture, they murder. Okay. That's interesting. I got it live, man. Got it live. That's very important information. And Melissa, what was her name? Melissa Mar Melissa... Sometimes they get caught. Who's her name? But are we ever What's really able to get the one with the homeless? We, we gotta we gotta do an interview with her, ladies and gentlemen. Got him. I gotta yo, the police didn't interview the lady who said I'm I'm sure I saw the shirt. That I saw that shirt. She's of course Ashley's pissed. Of course. The person who saw the shirt was so sure. Melissa Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we can find her. I would, I would love to have her on the show. I would love to do an interview. I would love to. I would, I would give you credit. Absolutely. I would thank you. Get in contact with her. See if we can find someone. We can find her. And um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Police did not... Wow. What, every case that I've been working on, man. Let me shut my mouth. I'm going to shut up because I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say nothing. Let's continue with the updates, guys, of everything we are learning. Riley's credit card yesterday out once again. Oh, by the way, before I continue, hit the like, hit the follow. Uh, let's see what we got. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, Facebook with, oh my God, Facebook is knocking it out the park. 111 shares. Very good. Very good. Um, if you're brand new to Facebook, hit the follow button, hit the like and share. We're covering the Riley Martin case, ladies and gentlemen. And we are doing a damn good job on today's podcast. Thank you guys very much. You guys are doing very good today. Very good. YouTube, we are at 630 likes. We're almost at the goal. We need 400 more. 400 more, guys. No, it's I'm not going to say it, Kim.
for evidence. Riley's family says they would like to see more resources devoted to this search, calling for help from agencies like the TBI, FBI, or perhaps even Homeland Security. But before those agencies could come in, they would need to be at the request of Metro Police or the district attorney. More eyes. If we have more eyes, more investigators, and more resources, maybe we can find them quicker. They find a card that we have been by every day, the police have been by every day, and find it miraculously. You couldn't put two and two more together on why we should have more, more police involvement. I even mentioned FBI. The TBI says they have received several tips and they have forwarded those along to Metro Police. And of course, if you have any information on this investigation, you're asked to call Metro Police right away. Reporting live from downtown Nashville, Nikki McGee at News 2. Thank you, Mick, Nikki McGee. Appreciate you. Brandon says on the Super Chat, they keep looking at homeless, homelessness, not at workers in that building parking lot. You haven't said anything about it. So Melissa Martin is a worker. Let's interview her, right, Brandon? Uh, gaming. That that's that that's something that we, you know, I said before. Um, can we try to get an interview with her? I would I would love to try. I would love to. Uh, Christopher again. Live three sixty app updates every two seconds when the app opens. If you close it, uh only update sporadically as soon as it unlock. So Christopher, I'm talking about tower ping systems, not Life360. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, they even use Snapchat if I'm not mistaken. Um, but for the 360 app, I, 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 see what you're, I see where you're coming from, Christopher. I do. So the, 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 the phone ping systems are very important also, not just the 360 app because... The, how the ping works from the tower to your phone could answer questions itself when being turned on and turned off. In this case, this would be, th this would be it. This would be it, basically. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, please, I want your shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a brand new shirt that just came in the mail today. Uh, but this won't be sold. Sorry, guys. This is exclusive. Uh, the YouTube one, the Novesity one, the big, the big one that goes like here. Yeah, this is this is the I'm yeah. It's not it's just especially made for uh for me. Sorry. Um let's let's continue, guys. Court T Oh court whoa. What happened to Riley Strain? Opening statements with Julie Grant. Let's have a listen. Hit the like and share, guys. So much. And we're all looking for you. All of us. <laughs> This is strictly a missing person investigation at this point. Obviously, those things can always change. I just need to know where my son is. The search for missing college student Riley Strain continues, but could a new clue help bring him home? And homicide defendant Dan Howard arrested at the airport, allegedly trying to abscond. Plus, the Delphi murder suspect. Hold on real quick. Who said that? All right, Savannah, can you do me a favor, Savannah, at YouTube? Can you stop putting the exclamation parks, exclamation uh, uh, signs, please? Astrology says he is in the building and hurt. Wait, what? Savannah, where are you getting this information from? Astrology says, what's, what do you mean astrology says, Ashley? Wait, what? Ashley, are you talking about psychic readings? Ashley, I, I don't do that here, Ashley. Respect, uh, not Ashley. I keep saying Ashley. Savannah. Uh, Savannah shines. Uh, I don't do the, the um, astrology card, tarot cards, and stuff like that, spirits and stuff like that. I respect that if you do. I respect that. I'm not saying nothing bad about it. If you believe in that, that's on you. But I'm going to be kind here when I say this. I go by the book. Okay, if you're new here... I go by the the book. Let's just say you you're gonna see exactly. I use clues, I use 
math, science. I use uh, software. I, I'm a science man. I don't do the psychics stuff. Um, um, let's continue. By due in court today, trying to get his case tossed. It's all coming up next for you, plus much more right here on Opening Statements. Okay, are we going to, like, get to it? Like to tackle the court day ahead. So right now, why don't you go ahead and grab that cup of coffee because it's time for my opening statement. What happened to Riley Strain? It's been 10 days since the University of Missouri senior went missing on March 8th in Nashville. Billboards right now are up all over the city promoting his safe return. The 22 year old was there in Music City with some friends from his fraternity before his disappearance. He had just been kicked out of Luke Bryan's bar on Broadway and told friends that he was heading back to their hotel. Now, Sunday saw a clue with his bank card reportedly found on the riverbank by search teams. His phone also last pinging in Public Square Park, which is right near the Cumberland River. What I really want to know this morning is how intoxicated was Riley Strain the night that he vanished? Business records show he was only served one alcoholic drink and water at Luke Bryan's bar. But my question is, how many alcoholic drinks did he consume before he went in that bar? Sadly, he's seen on surveillance videos stumbling and falling down. Police aren't suspecting foul play. So that, coupled with his apparent intoxication, leads me to thinking that this man tragically may have accidentally fallen into the river. I hope I'm wrong. I really want to be wrong here. I hope and I pray that he's found safe somewhere. But after his bank card turned up and he hasn't, I'm fearing the worst as I hope and pray for the best. Riley's family is remaining optimistic this morning and hopeful for his safe return to Missouri. So this morning, I say, let's send his family our good thoughts or our prayers. Think about it. Think how much agonizing pain and worry the family must be in, just wondering what happened to their beloved Riley. So let's wish them the very best as they make every effort to find Riley Strain alive and well and bring him home. That's my opening statement on this Monday morning. Let me know if you like it. Right now, it's time for your daily docket. When she woke up, Mr. Howard was... <clears throat> there is a lot of crime happening lately. What is going on? Okay. I, I just need to know where my son is. Every day, multiple times a day. And this is the longest I've ever gone without talking to him. It's devastating. Thank you, Christopher. Christopher again with the Now for what's trending in true crime. The search for missing college student Riley Strain rolls into its second week as searchers have found Strain's bank card. Investigators are also learning new details about his disappearance from the homeless population in the area. According to reports, Strain was spotted by two homeless camps on the night of his disappearance. Nashville police updated the public on their search, but still no sign of the 22-year-old. The last known footage we have of Mr. Strain was coming in this direction, which would be towards us in a northerly direction. Uh, it caught him between the James Robertson Bridge and Woodland Street Bridge traveling this way. Uh, he was on foot. There was nobody else around him that we can see. We do have some cameras on the back of our Birch Building, which is our courthouse here. However, it doesn't catch him crossing the path of that, and they would have caught anybody on either side of the Gay Street Connector. Boats searched the Cumberland River last week as well. Strain was last seen on camera near the river and his phone last tracked near a local park along the river as well. This morning, 
We're asking, what can we learn from the recovery of his bank card? Let's bring in our guest now, still with me, former special agent and supervisor at the Department of Homeland Security, Dr. Jason Piccolo. And attorney Eric Bland is with us as well. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Nice to see you. Uh, Dr. Jason, let me start with you, please, with the investigation. Uh, tell me, what does the bank card by the River Bank tell you? Well, typically, you know, if you're gonna, if you're a young adult and you're gonna be going out, maybe you don't bring all of your identification with you. So I would look for near that bank card, his form of identification, other evidence that he was there. Uh, just losing the yeah. bank card, that is one part of it, but you would wanna look for any other aspect of him, his proof of life of him being by that point. So it does tell you, you know, may not necessarily foul play, but that there may have been some sort of reason for him to be in that water. Mm. And I'm not saying that some suspect or someone else like put him there, but maybe he lost footing or maybe something happened to where he was at that point. Mm -hmm. So in, just to follow up, you, you said the water, uh, it's something that we, we hope isn't the case, but uh, this is just the reality. Does it appear to you that he somehow made his way into the Cumberland River, Dr. Jason? Unfortunately, when you put all of the, the video camera footage, his location, the losing the cell signal, the watch signal and everything, it, it could appear that he may have submerged. Mm. Yeah, this is so sad, we, we hope not, uh, but we know that uh, crews are combing the river uh, looking to find him. Attorney Eric Bland, I wanna go to you next, please. Uh, knowing the evidence. How many of you right now in the chat, I don't wanna say this in, a, in any mean way or to sound wrong, so let me know if I'm out of place. I mean, I would know if I'm out of place, honestly. Um, maybe I should start a poll. K. Cole, do me a favor, Cole. Can you, can you see if you can start a poll? Yes or no, let me know in the staff section, okay? Uh, same thing with you, Breezy, on Facebook. Uh, God, shout out to my mods, by the way, Keiko and Breezy. Shout out to both of those women, beautiful women. Goddess Code with the 499 says, uh, for your dedication and diligence, facts over feelings. Absolutely. Oh. Ain't no mundo like no mundo, baby. Goddess Code, you, you took that right out of my mouth. You know, most people don't like me because I'm over. I'm all about facts over feelings. I'm, I might, you know what? I might. I'm. I'm thinking about. I was actually thinking about making that a shirt, right? Novesity, facts over feelings. Imagine that on a shirt. I'm going to start a poll, and I want you guys to tell me right now. Do you think that Riley is? Sadly, if he is, if he is, do you believe, and I mean this with respect, do you believe he is submerged in the river? Let me start with YouTube. I'll post it. Do you believe? And I, I, again, I mean this with respect. I just want, I'm just trying to collectively. Oh my gosh, Facebook just went off. I have not seen that one. We don't even need to do it, Facebook. Facebook just went off. Uh, yes. All right. I'm going to start the poll. It's okay. All right, the poll is being set. We can look at it live, by the way, if you guys want to. And I want you guys to, you know, put your thinking caps on. And what do you believe? What do you believe? You know? You, you know what I really want? I'm going to look at the comments. I'm going to look at the Facebook comments. I said I was going to I was gonna show that. And I want to see what you guys have been telling me about this case. So I told you guys at the end of every podcast, I'm going to show your comments live. And I'm going to see what you posted. So if at the end of this podcast, leave a comment at the end of the podcast. 
okay? Leave your comments on YouTube, not Facebook, by the way. Those Facebook people, go to YouTube and leave a comment at the end. Because those comments are different from live comments. Comments, live comments, two different things, okay? Um, Jesus, or Jesus says, I appreciate you all and all you do know. I, I always watch you. Just don't chat. Aw, I appreciate that. I get a lot of those. I appreciate you for being a watcher, man. From the bottom of my heart, I just do this to help the family, to spread awareness, to seek justice, and to do the right thing. Thank you so much. Wonder Mommy, welcome to the family. Wonder Mommy, I thought you was already part of the family. Nicole Holder, thank you for the gifted sub. Let's welcome Wonder Mommy, and let's thank Nicole Holder. Nic whoever was that lucky person, congratulations. I appreciate you. Uh, Kinder T with the 499 says, I don't think he was in distress, but others commented that it could have been foul play. His, I mean, it, it, if I start a poll and saying, do you think it's foul play? Uh, foul play, a lot of people are going to say yes to that. Absolutely. 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 So we know All right, let's finish this video and I'm going to move. Are you guys ready? Are we going to edit this video footage? Let me know in the comments if you're ready, because I'm, I'm ready. I want to know what the hell happened. This morning, the biggest development being the finding of the bank card. Uh, tell me your thoughts, please, on where this investigation stands right now. Well, obviously, they want to try to find uh, to see if Riley's alive somewhere. But, you know, as the days go by, it becomes uh, more and more probable that something uh, catastrophic happened to him. The bank card should give a, a number of clues. It could either show uh, the last time that Riley tried to use the bank card or if someone had taken his wallet or he was in a confrontation. Uh, did somebody try to use the bank card and then discard it or did they steal his wallet and just discard the bank card. So it's not a good sign that his bank card, um, you know, was found on the river bank. Uh, if he was going to Uber, he would use his phone to set that up. You know, he's a very tall young man, so somebody would remember seeing him. You know, Julie, this is ever too frequently with spring breaks that, you know, groups of people go out. They, they travel, they go to a bar, and then someone is asked to leave. Uh, I'm just really surprised that, you know, that he was uh, permitted by his friends to leave alone, especially it appears that he was uh, significantly impaired, only having one drink yep. and two glasses of water in, in Luke's bar. So, you know, we need to watch out for when we go out as groups for everyone. And if somebody is asked to leave, you all need to leave to make sure that, you know, yep. somebody in a strange yep. city isn't just walking around. Yep. But it's it's really a sad situation. And uh, again, as the days go on, I, I become less and less hopeful. Yeah, I know, Erica. Well said. Well How do you guys think about that, chat? How do you think about that? So sorry about that. That's a little disgusting. Hold on. Let's put that back. Okay. How do you guys feel about that? His friends didn't follow him out the bar. Police didn't question the person that said, I saw the shirt on the homeless man. Do you feel that everyone disappointed us? Do you feel like if someone had done something, could, could they have done? Nicole Holder, look at this. Look at this. You're, now you're just teasing, Nicole. I appreciate you. What was the lucky person? Please. Video loss. Say thank you to Nicole Holder. Christopher with the 999 Super Chat. He says, I believe he's in the river and he's downstream further because of the high water. Only thing I cannot wrap around my mind around is how no one in the camp heard him hit the water. You the man. FYI. No, Christopher, you the man. And thank you for your continued support. Um... So I did a podcast, Christopher, on the science behind bodies and water. So I account for time, distance, the river of the rate, how far, how deep it is. So we know 90 feet, 53,000 of the rate. We know a lot of details of this river. So we know that if, you know, days go by in that water, the body does float up because of decomposition, because of only decomposition, because of the microorganisms, microorganisms producing methane gas, carbon dioxide, more gases as they feed uh, inside the gut and it expands because the oxidation, it goes 
uh, it oxidizes as it goes up. It'll float and you will see your body. No matter, you know, the position of the body. So that being said, um, how in my mind, what I'm thinking, I'm now using science of the river, is because he is beginning to float up. If he's in a river, God forbid, because the rate of the river, he's, people would keep thinking, he's at the bridge in the river. You're, you're, you're so focused on if he's still there. And if he's in the river, it's going to go and he's below. As he, as he rises up, with possibly not getting caught by the embankment, he's going to continue in the middle as he rises up. Guys, he's already way, I, t I told you guys this, possibility that his body is all, I mean, you're so full, you're, you're not looking at the time that was already against us. 10 days, what is it? The 18th. Without, you're not even looking at environmental impact. You know, when the water hits the body, depending on the temperature, it decomposes triple the rate. You, you understand what I'm saying? So um, you need to think, you're so thick, you, you need to search on the days that you missed. So let me give you an example. You know, a couple of face, you know, you know why I have to give you an example. I don't have to say it. This is the river, right? This is the river. Good super chat, by the way, Christopher. So people are so focused on where he went missing. No, 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 no. People are so focused on, hey, let's go on this side. No, 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 no. You need to think this far ahead. I would say that far ahead or that far, but it all depends on environmental impact. Hitting the walls, stuck on something. You know what I'm, you, you need to catch up on the days you lost. Think ahead. Think outside, outside of the box. Okay? You need to think logically when it comes to this. No offense to the person who says, think of the stars. I'm not going to think of the stars respectfully, but I'm going to think logically. You need to be ahead. You need, you need to be thinking of the little islands inside of that river. You need to think of the crevices he's probably caught in between. Okay, a lot of ground to cover. We'll have a look at this. Look at the Robertson Island in Tennessee in between. You get what I'm saying? You know, when it comes to the route of inside the water, there are these water. I forgot what it's called. There's someone who can tell me when it breaks apart inside the water and rivers. It's like a stream. I forgot. It's a name for that. That describes that. You understand? Um. The police said they have done a 17-mile search, says Deanna. Well, if the police had done a, a good job at 17 miles, they would have found the card, right? Okay. Nicole with a... Nicole. Canals. Okay, thank you. Just because... <laughs> thank you, Melly. I appreciate you very much, Melly Belly. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. I do. Nicole Holder, thank you too. You guys are wild tonight. Nicole, thank you. Shout out to Nicole. Chrissy uh, says with the one and nine, why didn't the cop ask him if he saw a car break in? That's a good question. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's a good question. Chrissy, I, I don't know why. Should have. Should have. He's in the surrounding area. Yeah. I mean, that's even if it was, if it was a car break in, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, Jules with a $2 super chat, super chat says, his friends ain't, shh, no one made sure he was safe. <sighs> yeah, Jules, sadly, they didn't follow him out. That's, that, it is sad, Jules. Uh, Gail with the $2 super chat says, where do I buy uh, your merch? No, merch is set to release in two and a half weeks at the very, very end, the tip of uh, March. Uh, that's when merch is released. Um, and it will be for executive members first, then members, and then to the public about a week and a half later. Um, yeah. So if you have your name is green or you have a green badge on Facebook, then yeah. Uh, let's read some stars over at YouTube. Jen says with her stars, she says uh, right here, 
Uh, she says, uh, his friends are sus. Almost seems like they didn't want to deal with him and just continue on. I'll be on TV searching for a run with everyone. Well said. I mean, I'm not going to say his friends ever, like, they did it intentionally, but they should have at least, you know. I mean, they, but, but they did call him. They did. It looks like they did attempt to, you know. Um, Mary Bell with the uh, 100 super, uh, what the 100 star says, in my opinion, he's probably sadly and tragically gone, whether he was drugged or in, in a drunken stupor. I think he would have sobered up enough by now to seek help. Yeah. This is so sad. I know you are. That's very realistic, Maribel. Good, 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 good stars comment on Facebook. Very good star comment. Another star comment was by Jen. She says, I love you, Nov. You are amazing. They need to question his frat uh, boy, yeah, his boys more. We don't know what they said, Jen. I don't know what they said to his, uh, to his boys just yet. I don't know. Good stars, Facebook. F shout out to Facebook. Very good star sends. Um, let's continue, everyone. Let's continue. Well said, uh, and thank you for that. You're right. I think in this case has everybody thinking, whether you're a parent of a college student, whether you are a young college student. I mean, this is jolting when, when we think about this. Uh, you know, A night out that's supposed to be good fun uh, turns into this massive search to try to find this young man alive. I, I want to turn to a clip from Nashville police uh, giving an update. Um, in here, you'll hear them say that they don't suspect any foul play occurred with Riley Strain. There's no, absolutely no indication whatsoever there's any kind of foul play or other crime involved. This is strictly a missing person investigation at this point. Obviously, those things can always change. We just don't know. But right now, it, all of our resources are dedicated towards finding him. Uh, we're not conducting a criminal investigation of any type. So we're utilizing all of our detectives and our other resources, as we mentioned, in just looking for him. Because like I said, there's no indication. There's no indication he was in a uh, fight or argument with anybody on the street, as far as we know right now, or anybody in any establishment he may have visited. So we're just solely looking at this as a missing person case. So let's talk a bit about the timeline of Riley Strain's disappearance. Uh, we know he was last seen on surveillance footage near the river crossing at First Avenue North to Gay Street. This is around 10 p.m. Uh, this was just a couple of minutes, this video that you see here, taken just a couple of minutes after he was kicked out of Luke Bryan's bar, which is on Broadway. And for anybody who hasn't been to the Nashville area, it's really important to know that the Cumberland River is very close to Broadway. It is within walking distance. It's very, very close. And so police are using a dive team. They've got boats with sonar technology. They are searching the river. Uh, and um, we shall see if, if Riley Strain turns up there. Uh, so with this timeline, it seems like not a lot of time passed uh, from the time that he vanishes, so to speak, and the time he's last seen on the surveillance footage. Uh, let's bring back in our wonderful guest, uh, Dr. Jason, back to you. Uh, your thoughts on, on the time here, what does it tell you? It takes little time for anything bad to happen. We know that seconds, minutes, microseconds. The thing is, maybe he, I'm just speculating, says, hey, you know what? I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to go hang out down by the river. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to relax. I'm going to do what I have to do to sober up and get to where I need to go. This can happen within minutes. This can happen within seconds, like I said. But it's just pure speculation. You don't know what happened to him. You don't know where he went. But danger happens so quick I, I just can't reiterate that and that's why you know like like the other guest said you have to have a buddy system you have to have someone with you you have to care for those with you mm -hmm. right right dr jason yeah eric bland you are right uh, looking out for each other uh, making sure everyone is okay even on foot i think sometimes uh, eric and i'd love to get your thoughts on this please sometimes i think we worry so much about someone getting into a car while they're highly intoxicated. We don't want them behind a wheel. We want them to be safe in an Uber or having a designated driver take them. But there are dangers of someone just walking out of a bar, especially if they're close to a river. I, I remember covering a case in Pittsburgh. Dakota James was the young man's name. It was a strikingly similar facts to this. Was in a bar, vanished for a while. It was People were thinking it was, did something sinister happen? But sadly, uh, he got too close to the river and fell in and accidentally drowned. And it reminds me so much of this case. Uh, Eric, would you speak to that, please? You know, the dangers of, of just leaving a bar and, and liability that may uh, 
be uh, attached to, you know, perhaps a bar like Luke Bryan's. You know, I do want to question this real quick about, about this. Um, here's my two cents on that. I am not going to sit here and just dismiss that there's no foul play. You know what I'm saying? Just because something sounds like another case, that doesn't mean it ha it's the same reason. I'm not going to do that. Could there be foul play when it comes to this case? Absolutely. Absolutely. It could be. Why not? Why? Because he's drunk? You think just because he's drunk, he fell in the water? He, this is Dakota and Riley are two different humans, okay? First of all, just because it happened to Dakota doesn't mean it should happen. Now, is it highly likely? Yes. Doesn't mean it's a fact? No. Be open-minded, people, but not too open. And, you know, don't tell me that the stars told you that. That's different. Let the experts answer, says Molly. Uh, I wanted to hear about the bar's liability. Okay, Molly, you're going to hear it when I play it, okay? Appreciate that, Molly. Thank you. Um, um, but if you don't want to hear what I have to say, Molly, you can, you can leave and come back when I play the video. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to chime in. Uh, I read, I, I, one investigator said that, that the dangers of Nashville on that area is common. Hence, I mean, you see the police officer there. What, what I'm confused about is if it's just that body cam footage. It's the body cam footage. I'm just, I'm surprised with the officer. He didn't do anything. Like he didn't stop him. I mean, cl I'm, clearly, I mean, you see, I mean, he's running. He's running in the. He's running in the video. He's running in the video. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I don't understand that. I dare you run, run in New York City, run in New York City, and near an officer, he's gonna be like, "You okay, bud?" That's what they. I'm lying. That's what they say. I'm not lying about that. Is everything okay? That's what they say. Christopher, what the... Oh, my God. Christopher, what? Who is Christopher? Who is this guy? Christopher. I believe people realize how murky water is. Uh, divers can't see their hand in front of their face. If it's... Uh, and it's dark. And it's dark, Christopher. And it's dark. Christopher, well said. Well said. And it's dark. Oh, she gonna stick up for her, man? Uh, Ashley Webster. Oh, hi, Ashley. How are you? Good to see you. She says, it's called an undertow. I know. Aw. The under, an undertow? That's what it's called? Undertow? Undertow? Under. A current beneath the surface of the water. Thank you, Ashley. She is correct. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, I love I love it, Ashley. Thank you so much. Undertow. Okay, thank you. Undertow. Undertow. Embankment. Undertow. Embankment. Undertow. Christopher with the 499 says, the way his mom describes him is the least risky one of the group. So they might be used to him leaving early before anyone else. I can't account for why he left early because Christopher, remember, he was trying to get into another bar. But if he's the least riskiest one, the way his mom described him. That's a good way of looking at it. I didn't, I didn't think about it in that way. I didn't think about it in that way. Huh. Good, good catch, Christopher. Sure. Um, there's good probably a parallel sense. investigation going on, even though the um, representative for the police department said it's not a criminal investigation. I'm sure they're doing a parallel investigation to make sure that uh, nothing nefarious happened. But there could be civil liability on the bar, if, uh, especially if, you know, these are uh, children from kids from Missouri in nashville you're asking somebody to leave the bar on his own you know that that person's inebriated that person's disoriented they're in a, a strange city uh they go down near the water um anything can happen you know in any major city all it takes is one bad egg to see a young college kid thinks that he has money 
you know, goes for his wallet, something happens, they go in, you know, he goes into the water. But I think in this particular matter, they're they're probably running a parallel investigation just to eliminate any possibility that there was a criminal activity um, involving a confrontation with Riley. But um, it's just very dangerous when you, as a uh, an establishment, you let somebody go out in the street who is inebriated on their own. They could just walk right out and get hit by a car. It's just not how uh, bars are trained to do. They Excellent. usually uh, call somebody an Uber um, or they call the police. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate all of that. Uh, we'll keep watching this story. It's been a great discussion with you both. We've got to leave it there, but our good way. Do you think that bars should be liable? Sandwich, yes, that current is strong, says Sandwich. We are learning. Sandwich, thank you. Yo. I thought your name for a second sandwich was Sandwich. I'm so sorry. I'm not making fun of you. I legit thought that. I'm so sorry, Sandwich. Sandwich. I can't get that out of my mind. Undertow, not under towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw the... Uh... Oh, my gosh. Facebook is going crazy. Everybody's like saying yes, 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 yes. If you're brand new to Facebook, hit that follow button. I would appreciate that. Facebook. We're about to hit almost 200 shares. Facebook is going wild. Facebook, what the hell? 200 shares. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that. I think you guys want to see that edit footage. That's probably why. That's probably why. Trail pit from what he was walking along with a video footprint to put things together to look for people following, extra vehicles in the same frame, etc. But right now that is the last video or voice that we have of Riley. Nashville police today, Chris, uh, again said no indication of foul play. And that's the way, it seems they're being careful the way they word it, but they say no indication of foul play. What do you make of this? I mean, did, what are your thoughts at this point? It's, uh, I don't play poker well. It's very frustrating. Um, his debit mm. card was found in an area that we have been, everybody, hundreds of people have been in that area for eight days. Uh, it's in an area that, you know, you think we would have seen something by now. We've had people in the water. We've had people on land. We've had people volunteer helicopters. You know, it just amazes us that it just happened to happen when it did. And we thank God it did. And those young ladies found it. They have been very, very open in helping us with this investigation. But yeah, we're, we have a lot of questions. Uh, every piece of the puzzle we've been receiving, it leads us down 100 more questions. You know, we're no closer to finding Riley. Uh, we've asked for the TBI to be involved. Uh, I've even reached out to the FBI, Homeland Security. You know, it's nothing I'm not trying to take a dig at what Metro Nashville is doing. I know they're doing with what they can. They're probably short-staffed, but more eyes, more people, more people invested in this. We're eight, nine days in. And how does a 6'5", 6'6", blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy disappear? I mean, he literally disappeared. Yeah, there's no, it, it, I understand, no. And there's no DNA in no, the scene. No, I was just going to say, it doesn't uh, seem to make a lot of sense. Like, like you said, sir, it doesn't, it doesn't add up, which is one of the reasons I think so many people are paying such close attention to the case. But you make a good point. I mean, we're not trying to make a dig at police here, but when you hear that it's TikTokers who are out there, volunteers who find his bank card on the riverbank now a week later uh, and not police early on. I mean, is, is that concerning to you and the family? It is. I mean, uh, I'm 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 speaking for myself, very close friend of the family, uh, but they are very concerned on what's actually going on right now. Uh, I, we thank the Lord. It's ironic that they are literally trying to ban TikTok. Sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. I um, I had a somebody rose at my door, my door. So, but I only missed like one minute and thirty seconds. But I can always go back and after the podcast, I'll study it myself. I like to watch these things with you. Um, let me just continue this. It is. I mean, uh, I'm 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 speaking for myself, very close friend of the family, uh, but they are very concerned on what's actually going on right now. Uh, I, we thank the Lord. It's ironic that they are literally trying to ban TikTok right now. 
and they're literally the only ones that has provided us a solid lead. Uh, 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 YouTube, hello. Excuse me, we don't, we don't go. I'm really going to have to go to Tennessee. I'm not playing now. I'm really going to have to, yo. Melissa Dawn with the 155 star says, damn, shaft laws are different in each state. I got, I got, I got to watch it, uh, Melissa. I probably missed that part. Eight, nine days after this has started. So uh, triangle with another TikToker when the young ladies found that, had them send me a picture of it. Uh, I told him what bank he was with, etc. Unfortunately, we have been warned of the bad side of this, how people will want attention. They'll print fake plastic mm. cards of people's identification, throw them in locations yeah, of crime. Yeah, we've seen it before, yeah. Yes, exactly. So before I rallied the troops, the mom and dad, I did have them dial nine. Yo, look at that junk. One, one, I had them send me pictures of it and instantly knew, wow, we, we have our first clue. And, uh, you know, it was amazing. We were so happy. And I, and I told him, and you saw it in the interview, they were extremely nervous. Uh, I told him, I said, you're about to have 100 people instantly come to that spot because they were live. And I said, I need you to make sure nobody comes within 10, 20 feet of where you found that card because we can't take a risk of jeopardizing, you know, a potential crime scene. Uh, they did not label it at that mm, yet. That was smart. Uh, but, you know, yeah, just and, and they were nervous yeah, and they yeah. go, OK, and and it was awesome. But we're very concerned. I wish we had more people looking in this, invested in it. We just want Riley home. He's a great kid. Uh, he has a lot going for him. He was two months out from living the American dream and, and starting, you know, graduating college and being an investment career that he wanted to be in. Just how does somebody like that just disappear, especially when there's an officer within a half mile, quarter mile of that area looking for suspects and smashing grabs? He was not even at a quarter mile, brother. I'm going to be honest with you. He was less than that. Frankie's mom says, why did it take so many hours to report? Reminds me of Idaho 4. Wasted so much time to report. Evidence tra uh, trail suffers. How, how, how much hours did it even take? Uh, Frankie's mom, I got I to gotta see that. I don't know how, how long did it take. It didn't take that long, right? To report? It was the next day. It was the next day. Because they reported him at 10, 10, 10 in the morning. Let's see how long this was. This This... Yeah, because he it happened over here. That that video was right here. See these parts. See these see these spots. So let's go for a walk. The officers are not gonna pick whatever happened up. I'm gonna be honest, guys. The officers are not gonna. They're not gonna know. To, to a drunk guy, they're not really gonna know. They're not gonna know. They're not gonna know from this distance. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I don't think it's a quarter of a mile, but. They're not, they're not going to know. Look at this, guys. Come on. It happened. Whatever happened, happened here. Whatever happened, it happened here. No. Megan with the 499. Megan says, I definitely find it weird that his debit card was found. I feel like if he would just fell into the water, the card would have fell with him. That's what I said yesterday. You're paying attention, Megan. You're paying attention. Yes. Anything that was with, was, was, was with, okay. So maybe there's reasons why we find certain things. Maybe there's not. His card? Card? Usually, by the way, usually they, they, they report somebody missing within 24 hours. It was, it was quick. Um, but I digress. This right here, this right here. I just want to hold this. Yes. Yes. When is your merch coming out? I said this before. My merch does not come out, guys, until the end of the, the month. The end of the month. Oh, what kind of merch is coming out? I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't read that comment correctly. Um, Just the regular Novicity logo. And I'm actually thinking about creating a shirt with the super chat sign, but with somebody's name and a dono. Like, you see how this super chat, I'm putting this on a shirt, but I haven't 
found the person or the amount uh, or how, the amount or what tax. Um, I hope that answers your question. I wasn't supposed to tell nobody about that, but you act so, yeah. That, Megan, that's a very good question. Very good question, Megan. Laura with the $2 Super Chat says, yay, I can finally buy Super Chats. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. And thank you for, for uh, Super Chatting and getting involved. Your Super Chat means a lot. Wonder Mommy says with a Super Chat, says local news stories say the area is a hotspot for human and human and organ traffickers. I didn't know that. It's a hot spot for that? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Holy chicken strips. I didn't know that. My daughters think somebody in that bar targeted him, threw, threw him out, and he followed them. Okay, so I don't know if somebody followed him. I doubt that because all the footages that, that I've seen, there was nobody really following him, Wonder Mind. I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm not going to negate the human and organ trafficking. I'm not going to negate that. That shit's real. It happens. That's not a conspiracy theory. It actually is a thing. So, I mean, he's missing. No sign of his body. Not even in the water. It's a possibility. Your, daughter, your daughters are, you know, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. Wonder Mommy, your daughters, you know, even you, Wonder Mommy, you, you're on it. You're on it. You're on it. All right. I think it's, it's, it's that time, right? So let's go to the video real, real quick before we edit it. Good, how are you? Good. New video released by Metro Police shows Riley Strain talking with a Metro Police officer the night he disappeared. Investigators say the conversation happened around 9.50 on Friday, March the 8th, and is one of the last videos we've seen of the missing Mizzou student. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilkes. News 2's Adam Mincer has been following this investigation. He is joining us live from where that video was taken. That's along Gay Street downtown. Adam, what's the latest? Bob and Haley, I actually just saw Riley's dad a short time ago walking this path taking a look for himself and he's been joined by a bunch of other people as well. A lot more people than I saw here last week. People with their phones out recording the different areas, taking time to look over these barriers to see if they can catch a glimpse of something themselves so far. Nobody has seen anything of note quite yet, but this is actually part of a larger trend we've seen with this story. People volunteering their own time to look and investigate themselves. We've seen Facebook groups that have grown. So as the family continues to search, they have thousands and thousands of volunteers behind them, both here in person and online. Yesterday, in fact, two women who met on TikTok made a discovery police had missed finding Riley's bank card near the river in the missing Riley Strain Facebook group has more than 43,000 members combing through video and offering up their theories. Now, the group's founder tells me as they, they see themselves as a place to support law enforcement's efforts, mainly by spreading awareness and searching through tips and leads. I'm just a mom that really wants to help and make a difference where I can. And right now, mom is trying to find her boy. And we have found people that had things to share with law enforcement that came through the group. So we are definitely sifting through leads and connections and also people that spoke to Riley and they want to talk to the family. So we I do want to take the time that to say, I want to give a big shout out to that group. If you're on Facebook watching this, my beautiful people, you know, over there at Facebook, every single person that's watching this over at Facebook, you guys do take the time out to watch all my podcasts as I, and I'm just a true crime trending stories pod, podcaster. You know, sometimes I do investigations, sometimes I don't. So I, I want to give you guys a pat on the back. I want to give you my applause. I want to say thank you for sharing this within the Facebook group. Um, I always, you know, thank YouTube so much, but I want to take the time to thank Facebook also. Uh, Facebook, if you, anybody, everybody, you don't have to have a badge. You could just be a follower or watcher. You haven't even followed. You haven't even shared or like. I just want to say thank you. It doesn't matter. Your view, your, 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 you watching, your opinions, you, as I'm looking at your comments, you guys are saying some very great things that I even had to look at after. I'm like, oh my God, M Marielle, Nicole, Deanna, supporters, you guys say very intelligent things. And I, I, you know, I'm just one brain, but us 2,000 people collectively from YouTube and Facebook, you guys are an unscalable unity that I have, I, I couldn't have 
I couldn't have done it without you. You know, I, I, I can't, like me doing this would take me so much time. But with your intelligence, the way you think would help a lot, okay? So I just want to take the time to say thank you for liking, sharing, following, watching, even looking at me, not doing anything. Thank you, okay? I appreciate you so much. We connect them. So Riley Strait's dad just telling me that he is extremely appreciative of these people online and in person trying to find out what happened to his son as it's been about a week and a half, but also asking for everybody to be respectful of law enforcement and the rest of the family. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Adam Mincer, News 2. Thank you, Adam, and stick with News 2 for all of the breaking developments in this case. You can see all of our continuing coverage on our website at WKRN. All right, let's get to this video. I want to edit it. Let's get to the Super Chats real quick, and then we'll move on. We're just going to take you like just two minutes. All right. Kenna with the 499 Super Chat. I did miss your, your message, Kenna. So sorry. Kenna says, if Riley was wearing uh, his boots, her, her Super Chat's right here. You can read it. Um, they would have been, They would have been like anchors on his feet. And water makes leather shrink. Kenna, that's a very good smart remark. You are correct. But depending on the time span, also, his boots are not going to weigh down his body with microorganisms, you know, at play. When they rise his body, I don't think the boots are going to weigh that much to weigh down his body. If anything, he'll be a floating. He'll, be, he'll act as a float. All that gases, I'm telling you, that's, it rises you, man, like a balloon. Kind of like you push something and it goes like this. As day goes by, he will rise more, Kenna. But that's a very good super chat, Kenna. Um, let me see if I missed any super chats. Ashley, Ashley, uh, let me see something real quick. Are you guys ready for that edit? I'm going to edit the video right now. Are you guys ready for that? This is the, this is the perfect and last time to hit that share and like button. Uh, catching up to comments. Okay, Jesus says, I just want to take the moment to also thank Keiko and Breezy for all of your help. It doesn't go unnoticed. Well said, Jesus. Well said. Well said. I hope it's Jesus or Jesus. I don't know which one. Uh, thank you so much for that super chat, Jesus. Let's thank our mods. Nana with the 109 says, it's not what you know. It's what at you can prove. Oh, my God. Yes, you're right about that. You're right. Melissa Dawn at Facebook says, um, damn, uh, oh, I read that already. Sorry about that. All right, let's get to the editing, everybody. Sassy with the 99 cents. Thank you so much. Laura with the 99 cents. Thank you so much. Thank you guys Dot com. so much. Let's edit this video, ladies and gentlemen. So let me get this over here. Let me take this down. Let's see how we can help this family out. Let's take the new project. Let's create a new one. Let's call this one um, Police Riley Bod. Okay. Let's create the sequence. All right. Let's see how we, what, what we can do. Let's see what we can do here. I have my screen hidden because I don't want to show you some private stuff that I have personally when I edit my YouTube videos. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Nicole Holder, thank you for all of those. I really appreciate that, by the way. Nana with the one and nine says, it's not, oh yeah, I read that already. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see if we can get these videos, downloads. All right, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, we are at the editor. We're going to edit it. But before I do, one last time, I don't want to be annoying. Hit the like over at Facebook and YouTube and hit the share button. That means a lot to me. I don't want to be annoying. I do apologize. I'm looking at my messages over at Facebook and Discord. Can I, uh, somebody did say, uh, posted something. I can't use what you send because it's not like you sent me the Cumberland Embankment webcam. It doesn't let me rewind it, so I can't use it. Uh, let's see, YouTube. We just need 100 more likes over at YouTube. That's it. There's 100 more likes. You don't know how to like? You can do it on any any device. PlayStation, TV, whatever. Just exit. Like, yeah, you know. Okay, now let's edit this footage. All right, guys. So if you're brand new to the stream, my name is No. Welcome to Novicity. I am a podcaster, true crime podcaster, also trending topics. 
And I do some sometimes investigation work like Savannah Soto, Madeline Soto, and now Riley Stern. I'm here to help the family. Um, you get, feel free to screen record this. You can. I, you, you have my permission. I am giving you my permission you, to distribute, record, edit my likeness. If you want to screen record this now, and you can upload it to your TikTok. Just tag me. Just tag me. Be like, hey, Nov. I'm just letting you know that this is, you know, whatever. Just tag me. You can upload this to your YouTube, mm, your YouTube video, your uh, Twitter, your Facebook, and what have you. Just tag me so I know that you, you know, you did it. Um, this is the perfect time because I'm going to edit it in front of you and see what we can come up with for ourselves. So we have a couple things to edit. The audio of what he said after uh, Reginald, that's the policeman. Uh, I want to know what he said there. So he did make a remark after How Are You? And also the guy, uh, he just disappeared. Like, Look, he's gone. He's literally gone. So... What I want to do is I want everyone to listen to the audio. We're going to just take care of the audio. And um, let's see. Facebook keep freezing. It's fixed. It's fixed. You can if you go to YouTube if you like. It's up to you. Uh, I will be taking phone calls. Oh, wait. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to take phone calls today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I am. Don't get mad at me. Um, let's, let's watch the video first and let's listen in. And then we'll edit. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's over here on Gay Street, uh, near First Avenue. Hmm. Okay. So that's the full video. I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, with what I got there. Uh, Congrats on the 26K. Thank you guys for subscribing over at YouTube. We hit 26,000. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Keiko and everyone for thanking me. Appreciate that. Hard work definitely pays off. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. All right. Now let's edit this video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go with audio, okay? So let's go with audio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the effects. I'm going to start with audio effects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little denoise. So what this... What this does is it cancels out any audio that is not audible. That's not like any any type of, you know, human related noises. So let's put add, let's add some reduction. We're gonna add we're gonna put a D noise. Okay, we're gonna put a D noise. You see what it did right there? You see you see see the effects of what it did. So then we're gonna um, open the individual uh, parameters. And the amount of parameters, we can put edit right here and we can look at specific noise gates. You see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Puts it to the right. You see that? I know this is geeky, guys. It's gonna get geeky. Please don't judge me. Don't, I know, I'm gonna explain things to you. Sh any opinions is welcome, everybody. Even if I don't agree with it, like I don't think it was his foot, but you, any freedom of speech is in the chat, okay? Listen in. Ah, oh, shit. I lost the, uh, hold on. I lost the tab. Uh, where's the tab? There it is. Okay. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hold on. I'm trying to see the wavelength. We're going to increase this a little bit. Hold on. Let's put my face up here for now. Where should I put my face at? Let's put my face for now. For now. Let's put my face. 
this is good rabbits. Put you over here for now. Okay. Play. Good. Right there. Increase this by like, oh, 70 so much. Brandy says, I just think it's pretty sad that all the people who seen the guy walking drunk didn't do anything to help him. I, I know, and I know. I know, baby doll. You are right. I know. Ah! Ah! It worked. It worked. It worked. I knew it. I knew he said something. I knew it. Listen up. Listen closely. Put the volume up. Listen, guys. Do not say anything. I'm going to mute my mic. Listen. Good. Right there. You see? He said something. I don't know. I can't make that. Don't know if he was talking on the phone. Help me? Help me? Help me. I don't think it's helped me. I can't make that out. God. We need to find him. I know, guys. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing one thing at a time. I'm trying my best. Is C... C S C E S is in a chat. C E S. So this wavelength indicates that the, it's audible. Something's there, but I can't. Christopher, what the one ninety nine super chat says? Maybe what? Let's listen. Let's listen to that. I hear Dunton, Dunton, like like Dunton. So it's a it's a word with two syllables. Dunton, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think it's, I don't think it's what because I hear Dunton. I'm gonna raise the volume more. Okay, listen closely. See that? I don't know what he said. I'm gonna increase it by 81 percent. See? I'm reading the comments on YouTube and Facebook. I, I can't make out what Riley is saying here. You call me? Need help? Sounds like help. You call me? Oh, you call me? I can hear that. I can. You call me? I can hear that. You call me? I can, yeah. Yeah, I can hear that. Okay. You, you call me? Let me see if I can introduce transcripts. Let me see what happens. Maybe transcripts could play in a, in a favor here. Oh, you guys, I, I, yeah, I can hear that. I can actually hear that. Oh. Captions and graphics. Is there be text-based editing? Text-based editing. Transcribe for me. Let's transcribe this real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could clean up the audio just a little more and add some tra transcripts. How you doing, sir? How you doing? How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Good. Transcripts doesn't really say anything here. Let's see if I can type that out.
Hold on, let's see here. Hmm. I'm good, how are you? Good. See that? It's it's not picking up anything. Right there. It does sound like that. Oh, that's kind of good. Good, on, good, good, good ears, man. Good ears, y'all. Kelly says need help. I don't think it does. I don't think it does sound like that. Do you guys hear that? Need help? I don't. I don't think I. I don't think I hear that. I'm gonna be honest. Thank you for the super chat, Kelly. Need help? Brandon Gaming says. Please pick up. Please pick up. Let me see. Please pick up. Huh. Sounds like he says, could you help me? Says Tina Tyler. I could, I could kind of see it says help me or call me. Call me. Damn, that's so hard to make out. I'm glad I caught it, but I couldn't, I couldn't, um, call me, help me. <coughs> oh, man. Call me. I'm divided. I'm hearing different things from YouTube and Facebook. I'm not too sure. You coming? Oh, you coming? Hmm. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Riley Strain case. They gave me the footage. I have it. And I'm an editor. I do commercial work. So uh, I do editing all the time. And I have the, I can do that. I can even put this in, um, well, I'm not going to put that in Audacity. I could put it on Audacity. Following me? You coming? Hmm. You coming? Help me? Slow it down. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down. Okay. It's amazing how suggestive our mind is. Once you think you hear it out. Yes, someone hears something. It's hard. Yes, Christopher. Christopher, dude, you're, you're walling out with these super chats, man. Thank you so much, Christopher. Are you right? Christopher, yeah. You're so right, Christopher. Uh, he says, once you think you hear one thing or someone suggests something, it's hard to... Un yeah, totally, Christopher. Spot on, Christopher. It's right here. Is this part right here? I don't know what you said, man. I have no idea what you said, brother. That's tough. I'm good. I can't. If I just let's put it back more a little quick. Let's put this here. Oh man, that's tough. All right, let's hold this in place. Let's go to the video footage, all right? Let's let's hold this in place. You guys are you guys are thinking. Keep talking. Gene said peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Hold on. Peace out. How are you? Good. <laughs> How are you? Good. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh, peace out. Probably. I probably. Yeah, there's a lot of words. Keep talking. He keep talking. But he, he didn't have a phone though. Blue, he didn't have a phone. So let's be let's try to think of what he would peace out. I don't think I hear peace out though, Gene or Blue. Blue, thank you so much for the super chats, Blue. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Hmm. 
Cheek, thank you so much, Cheek, for joining Novesity. Thank you for joining the family. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Let's let's welcome Cheek to the family, guys, over at YouTube. I'm coming. Is that what he's saying? I'm coming. Coming. Good. Coming. Good. I can see that too. Oh, it's like I'm hearing coming. Help me. Like coming. Help me. Hello. Like it's all it sounds similar. Even then when I do when I put the noise gate, what if I go back to the editing? Editing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The Hummer. The Hummer could actually. Uh... Good. Okay, that kind of helped a little bit too. The D Hummer helped a lot. All right, I'm going to have to put this on pause. I want to go straight to it because I, I don't want to run out of time. I'm past the time that I said. Uh, you guys are thinking outside. Thank you. Like you guys, it's helping. You guys are actually helping a lot. Thank you. You guys, I, I didn't know. Just walking. Ah. Mm, BB. Okay, I can hear that. I could kind of hear that. Just walking. I think I can hear that. I think I can hear that. I think I can hear that. I think I can. Just walking. And that's also a response. Mm, I can hear that. I think I can hear that, BB. Very good. Very good. You guys are killing it. See that? You guys don't need me. I need you. Okay, let's... um. Just walking. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's look at the footage. He's clearly on the sidewalk, right? He's on the sidewalk. We can see him. He's on the sidewalk, guys. Have a look. You see him right there. We all see him right there. Melissa Dawn with the 155. Oh, she already said that. Sorry. Hold on. Let me go to Facebook stars. Rosa, thank you for the 100 stars over at Facebook, Rosa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cynthia Emanuel, thank you for the share. Okay. Okay, he, let's look at the rate he's walking. Like, how you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, um, um. Boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm, I'm thinking about the rate he's walking. Boom, boom. How far can he get to the rate of where he was from? You see what I'm saying? Let's use a little bit of science here, guys. Let's use some science a little bit. That happened right here. Bench, bench. Bench, bench, bench. Tree. Pole tree. Pole tree. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right here. Bench, pole, tree. Pole, tree. Boom. Right there. Right by the pole. Why is he going? Good, how are you? Good. Actually, he's heading to the grass a little bit. Yeah, he actually is. I just saw this. Chat, look at him. I, I just caught something. Look at his position. See his shadow? Now, how you doing? he's heading more towards the grass. Oh, sir, sir. A little bit. Not. Good, how are you? Look, see? Look. Look at that. He headed towards more the grass. I just caught that. I just caught that. I just caught that. Oh, shit. I just caught that. 
Paul. It's be Melly, it's because you're beautiful? What's going on in the chat? Whoa. What the hell's going on there? First comment I see is, I'm not going to lie, chat. I just caught something. I, I, in my opinion, he's drifting to the right a little bit. Look at his position. Look at the shadow. Like, let's use the shadow. Look at the space between the shadow, from the grass, the shadow, and his foot. All right? Now we go. How you doing, sir? Look. Sir, sir. Now, now, now watch when the, when the camera goes right back to him. Watch. See? Look. He's uh, almost touching the edge. He's almost touching the edge. Good. Could that sound mean that he fell? Like, uh huh. Like, uh huh. C could it? Could it be? I'm just. I'm just thinking. But then, if it did, how did the phone ping? Eh, probably not. He probably didn't fell. He probably didn't fell. He probably didn't fell, guys. Because his thing, his phone pinged. No, it doesn't make sense. It, didn't, it doesn't make sense. Uh, like, like, whoa. But his phone pinged later. It, nah, nah, I don't think so. I don't think he, I don't think he could have. Uh, he's probably still walking. He's probably still walking. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But he is veering. He is veering. Uh, it says Gemini 65. Let me pin that comment. I love that. Where's that comment? Can't see it. It's okay. He is veering. He is. He is. Now, all this time frame, right? So, let's see how many seconds. Let's, let's, let's use some... Okay, this poll, 15, 15 seconds, right? Fifteen seconds minus 43 seconds. So, it's actually 43 minus 15. So, 43 minus... 15, 28 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Is that enough to travel to the bridge where we can't see him or enough to cross the street? Now let's find out. Somebody said you're a nerd. <laughs> hey, I'm a proud nerd, all right? I like to do investigation work thorough. So, you, okay? Okay. 28 seconds. Let's have a walk, ladies and gentlemen. Sloppiness. Dun, 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 dun. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If he's not running, also sixteen, seventeen. Per box. How many how many feet did he have per box? How many feet he steps he took per box? Per sidewalk box. Per sidewalk box. He took one two three. That's It took him one and a half second per box because he's so long. His legs are long. One and a half seconds per box. One and a half seconds per box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. 122 25 He didn't make it. He didn't make it till to the edge. This tells me by doing that math, that tells me 
25 point hold on. 25 times 1.5 seconds 37.5 that's more than the 28 seconds that's 37.5 seconds he he crossed the street he crossed the street he crossed the street He crossed the street. He crossed the street. He crossed the street. He had to cross the street. He had to cross the street. Let's edit the video. Okay, let's clear this video up. So uh, what I did, if you don't know, was I counted the distance as best as I can from here to the bridge where we could not see him. It took him to this, for this right here, it took him 37.5 seconds from here all the way right here. 37.5 from this to here. He In 28 seconds, he should have been to this right here, around here. We didn't see him, which means he had to cross the street. He had to cross the street. That's the only logical thing because he, if he went past the embankment here that contradicts the phone ping. That contradicts the phone ping. It contradicts the phone ping. It contradicts it 100%. He slowed down because an officer's there. But let's see. Let's see if we can find him over past the car or something. All right, let's edit this. It's a process of elimination, people. Process of elimination. Think about it. Think about it. He couldn't have fell down. He's still going, but we didn't see him, which means cross the street. 37.5 seconds to reach that, that meter past the hydrant. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm, I'm very sure. All right, let's do this. K. Hey, Cole said, could he be in the house with a phone ping? That's a possibility. They probably disposed his body right there. Possibility. I, I, I request warrants from all buildings in the surrounding area. All right. Video. I don't think he went across the street. I believe he went towards the trees to avoid the cops. What trees are you looking at? Tina, what trees? There's only the trees on the sidewalk and he's gone. What there's no uh, what trees? What What trees? He went down at the embankment where he's drunk and ready to fall? What trees? There's only this tree? And this tree, that's, there's no, there's nothing else on that court. Look. Hmm. Okay, let's edit this. All right, we're getting somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. So using this low contrast, I, a figure doesn't stick out. What's here, what's there would be... There's poles and a meter. Poles and a meter. One, three poles, one meter... Three poles, one meter.
So here on Gate Street. Uh... Sorry, Ralph, I'm quiet. I'm really trying to focus here. How does he identify? Wouldn't he really... That's contrast. I'm gonna bump this up because I'm not trying to I'm trying to see if there's any figure that will stick out. Any figure that will stick out. So let's Do you see anything on this this sidewalk? See that? I don't see sh even after bumping this up, I don't see nothing. What about the red jeep? Guys, <laughs> the red jeep didn't even get there. That's not logical. The red jeep is way past there. Oh, wait a minute. So here on Gate Street, uh, near First Avenue. See that figure you see there was already there. Look, that's that's that was at the beginning. Look, see that figure right there. That's a that's a meter. I I. I mm. I see super chats, but they're not turning up. I don't know why. Like the, on my on my thing. Let me read it real quick. Uh, Kinder T says they should have dogs searching in the area. Yes, they do already. Kinder T, they do, they do, they do. That's a good comment, uh, Kinder T. They do though. They're on that. They're on that one. The crafty one says, "I hear, please help." Says the crafty one. And do you guys hear that? Crafty one says she she hears, "Please help" in the chat. I mean, in the in the video. Trying to lower these lights down, but it's, I would have to separate them and I would have to max that. That just takes time. You see, I don't see anybody. So, Even on this, uh, on Gay Street. no human figure. Uh, Even on this side or this side. Uh, near First Avenue. There is nobody. I, I just showed you. I edit it. There's nothing. Y'all, there's nothing. Nothing. What if I... Guys, it's, it's, I can't... This, I can't... There's no human figure. So, uh, That's black. Um, that means something there. Tree. All whites. Gray. Uh, uh, near first that, that means, uh, There's nothing. How you doing, sir? Yo, where did he go? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you, I can only think he went across the street. 
That's the only logical thing. He doesn't... He, I can't. I know. Maybe he fell into the embankment, but but, Craig, it doesn't match. It doesn't. How can he? How 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 can he fall? How can he fall right there into the embankment? And his phone. Somebody got his phone. Must have real quick, and it shut off right there. How do you know to even look there? It's not laughing, man. Yes, the embankment, no. Just because we can't see him down there as far doesn't mean that there's not a trail. Okay, we, we, I mean, we, we, I could literally find out. A trail, a trail. Okay, let's, let's, let's see if there's a trail. There's no trail. I, I don't see a trail that leads down there. I see no trail. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm open minded, of course. I I I want to I want to help me, help me. You know, I want to see a trail, like, you know, show me where it is. That's not, that's not the bridge. We're at the wrong place. That's the wrong place. Here it is. Okay. There is no trail. This is where it happened. See the fire hydrant right there? He walked, and there's no trail. This is just dense, wooded embankment. I don't see anything. I, I don't. There's no trail. It definitely would have appeared on a map also and on Google Earth. It doesn't it doesn't describe that. I don't see that. Hmm. I don't. Christopher says he definitely did the ET. Yeah, I don't know where he went. I I I, I Christopher, this this is I, I don't I, I only really can only think that he he went to the left and, and the cars are blocking our view. He vanished in seconds. That's crazy. Like, did he get into a car? I really don't know if that's possible, but if he did, the car, I mean, his phone. Guys, you need to think, if a car took him, his phone, his, his how fast does a car get to the one bridge to the next bridge? Just a couple, few, what, like 10 seconds? There's no, there's no red light here. There's no red light here. Car goes from here to there. A few seconds. What, they just tossed his phone out? Then it would have never, you know, how, you know, it. I can't think of it like, a car would snatch him. He would make noise. Uh, why is the credit card in the same exact spot? That doesn't make sense. That The car, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, how did the car end up oh, on the edge of the embankment? Because they just snatched him? Then if they snatched him in the car, they must have drove away. So then why is his phone is on the left side being pinged and then the credit card is found on the right side of the same location? That doesn't, so that doesn't make sense. See, I'm trying to be logical here. That doesn't, that's not making sense. It's not. Phone found here. I mean, the ping here and the car found right here. You see what I'm saying? Like, boop, 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 boop. Something happened here. Something happened here. This is the spot. Something happened here. Now, if I, am, am I going to tell you to come here? Am I, am I going to tell you to come search here? Absolutely not. Two reasons. They already did it. And second, come on. It's a high probability his, po his body's in a river. It'll just drift away. Okay? Now, 
I don't. Uh. Lachelle Walton, thank you for the five. Lachelle Walton, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are, you guys are insane today. Facebook and YouTube. What are you guys on crack? Thank you so much. Uh, his card was not in a wallet. It it wasn't. It it wasn't. That doesn't mean it 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 wasn't originated in a wallet. That we don't know. You know. I'm trying to be open minded here. Cheek says, uh, the person planted it, it, they're acting like a volunteer this past week. That's why the police overlooked it. The person planted it there, acting like a volunteer this week. Whoa, what do you mean by that? Wait, 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 wait. What is, what do you mean by that? The person planted it there, acting like a volunteer this week. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hmm. Look at the actual camera video. It shows him going down further. Okay, Monica. Show me that, guys. Like, show show me where does it where does it do that? Where do you see him going down further? I don't. I don't see that. Do okay. Hold on. Let me let me let me ask you guys a question. M Monica said that comment. Guys, do you see him in the video footage? This is what Monica says because I'm I'm trying to I'm, I'm I want to make sure that I'm not bugging out here. Do you see him? How you okay. doing, sir? Good. How That's you? Riley, right? Good. Okay. Hit the like button if you're brand new. By the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're talking about the Riley Strain case. All right. Looking for clues. It does help. We've done it plenty of times. It works. Noves hate us. No, 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 no. I don't hate you guys. I, I just want, I want facts. I want, I want proof. I want where. You know? <laughs> can I send you something on Facebook? Anybody can send me anything. You're perfectly fine. And we also learned that the embankment is steep. Steep. Okay. He's clearly looking for something on the ground, by the way. I hope you guys know that. The officer was looking for something on the ground. Looking for something on the ground. That's that's coverage, by the way. It's over here on Gate Street. Uh, yeah. Do you see him anywhere here? Anywhere? Yes or no in the chat? Maybe am I missing him or is there something wrong? Let me know if so, please. Yes, no. Please look into the smiley face killers. I will look into that in just a second. Zoom in. I will be glad to zoom in for you. Absolutely. Zoom in, she says. Gotcha. Zoom in. Street. 
Um, your first step. Nothing down that whole entire. Look at the road. Nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. I I I I just don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Sorry, Monica. Lachelle with the five. She says no drinking Hennessy and watching. I thought the red jeep followed him until they seen police waited, got him, and on the live the red jeep. I'll I'll look into it after I look at the left side of Buckler Show. I'll, I'll look into that. Thank you so much for the super chat, Christopher. With the phone on, it says it's weird how they cut the footage short. I know, Christopher. I said the same thing. I wonder if the complete footage shows something that they don't want the public to know yet. I agree with you, Christopher, 100%. That's bull crap how we don't got the full footage. I don't understand that, chat. Can somebody make it make sense? Why cut it off? He's right. He's right. He's right. Chick says, what are the odds uh, that the police were called to look at this stumbling guy and then this cop doesn't seem to realize that that's the guy? I, I think I, I was told, Cheek, that the police was called in for something different and it so happened to bump into him. That's, yeah. That's why, Cheek. I, I, it was just coincidence. Cheryl says, write down by poll. Where do you see, Cheryl, where do you, am I, am I on, I see him. Says, where do you see him? Where do you see, I see two people saying, I see him. Where? Where? I don't see no, look, nothing. Nothing. There's not even a shadow. There's nothing. That is not a person, ladies and gentlemen. That has always been. That, I believe, is the, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's, that's what we saw even before he even got there. That's something else. I think it's the meter. But if not, it could be somebody standing there. But that's not him. Okay. Now that we're done with this side, can we move to the left side? All right, we're going to move. You see him? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to. All right, let's go to the other side. Okay. Okay. I don't see him. I don't. I don't see him. Damn it. Why does it cut off? No, I don't I don't see nothing here. It it just keeps cutting off. Wait, are you guys talking about this figure right here? Wait, hold on real quick. This right here? This figure right here, right? Do you see that right there? Is that part of the car or is that behind the car? Right there. See, this is before he saw him. See, it's the same exact look. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Crystal. Crystal said it better in the chat. Look at Crystal. 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 I know. I... I he did a whole ass Houdini. I don't know where. He just disappeared. He just disappeared, chat. He disappeared. He completely. No, the police video shows more. Can you show me this police video? Can you, Monica, can you? Sh Monica, thank you.
Is there is there is there is there footage that I'm missing? Detective Nob, I love it. I right, listen. I hey, I did the editing. I sh I sh I did all of it, man. I did it all. There's no sign of him. No sign. Somebody, Lana, support a Lana. Uh, Seller says UFO session. Yo, he just vanished. I did, Naya. I put the saturation all the way up. I did that. That's why the color is really saturated in yellow. There's nothing, man. There's nothing. I cannot find anything. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm going to edit again for you guys, but I cannot find nothing. All right, you know what? I was not going to take phone calls today. I'm going to just take two. About two phone calls, guys, because we're running on three and a half hours. <laughs> uh, just the first person to, you know, well, if, uh, uh, Kinder T. Let's get Kinder T in here, actually. Uh, you know, you guys know the number already. Save the number. Always save the number. Taking phone calls. It's the perfect time now for you to text your name, text your name to the number. Shout out to my mods in the chat. Shout out to all my star senders, super chatters. Okay, Kinder T is not in there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yes, Abby, I see you. Yes, Abby, uh, make sure you... Uh, it's the number from when it was clear, okay, Abby? It was clear the last time. Juanita Castillo, I see you. Chick, thank you for the $1. I appreciate that. Cameron with the $1.99 says, body cam was shut off. He didn't disappear. We know that, but we're saying we, didn't, we don't see him as he disappeared, you know? Okay, Abby, I called. Juanita. Nobody's picking up the phones. Let's see here. Hey, Juanita Castillo. Hey, this is No from the Vestity. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. So tell me your thoughts on the case. Uh, you know, I've been watching it with you from the beginning. Um, and I think that, you know, he looks so disoriented because, you know, he got kicked out of the bar, he ran out, then he tripped, possibly hit his head, you know? And I think that maybe somebody saw him, you know, the way he looked and felt like, oh, well, you know, fate, you know, and maybe assaulted him. Like, like kidnapped him or, or hurt him? Like, what, like what, what type of foul play that you're indicating that would like, happen? I think, like, they took his, you know, his wallet, they took his card, and with everything that, you know, is going on, since that has a bad rap, that place, um, maybe they kept his wallet, maybe they heard him, and then if they saw that he, you know, there was a search going on for him, maybe they disposed of anything that had to do with him, including the card, uh -huh. and that's why nobody else had found it before. Ah, okay. So, 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 what do you think it happened though? Like, where? Like, how? Where? Okay, you know how we're looking at that video, and then you know, he's there one minute, but then he isn't. Do you mind muting whatever's in the background, please? It's just a little too loud. It's a little bit. It's not me. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. But um, you know, you know, we were watching the video, like. I said, and you were saying that, you know, he's there one minute, but then he disappears. Yeah. 
do you think the video could possibly have been edited before it was released? Uh, yes, because they had to cut it short. But I don't think yes. they, I don't think they edited it like intentionally, like where it, it, it was a fluid video. It was absolutely fluid. There was no edits in between, but there was an edit before and after. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know how like we see him walking one minute and then he disappears, and then all of a sudden you hear the cop talking. Yeah. Um. Possibly. Um. You know, somewhere passing that area, and maybe if his um, phone battery died or if his phone was taken, the person that took it possibly turned it off so that it wouldn't be pinned. I mean, th that's a possibility. I mean, his phone last pinged in an area where his credit card was found, so that's a possibility, absolutely, because uh, why would his phone ping at that location? Why would it that's what I'm saying, yeah, you know? It could have pinged any other location but that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because we see him, he keeps walking, you know, and like like I said, he disappears, so maybe the video, you know, could have been edited right before he exited, you know, like, you know what I mean? But, um... Okay. But he, you know, if he was attacked right after that whole scene with the cop or anything, Maybe they could have injured him, you know, whether it was a beat down or maybe just a simple struggle. He, after all, was disoriented. Right. So right. it wouldn't, it wouldn't take much to bring him down since he was already, you know, right. drunk and, So, I mean, we know. We, there's a lot of people in the chat that kind of agree with you that foul play is involved. You believe that foul play is involved, correct? To some degree, yes. Right. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it just, it, it, like, where's his body? You know what I'm saying, Juanita? Where's his body? Uh, see, the thing is, I'm thinking, and I could be totally wrong, but maybe he's somewhere in that whole homeless embankment area, you know? Yeah, and, but, but you know, they, But they searched that for days. But that doesn't necessarily mean, mean he's there in that specific area, but, you know, I mean, homelessness is everywhere, yeah, you know? Yeah. And so, I mean, he could be further down, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a possibility. And if, he, and if he's injured, maybe somebody's taking care of him. Let's pray that he's safe, you know? And maybe somebody's taking care of him. But, you know, if they're homeless, they don't have a TV, they don't have communication of, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, to I totally understand. Absolutely. Um. I just, we don't have that footage. Somebody just said security cam footage. I don't know if there's any other footages that anyone has, but this is the only one that I know of. I would continue to do some research, though, and try to get so much footage as possible. Thank you, Juanita. I appreciate you speaking on um, all about the case. Thank you, and I think you're awesome, and I think that Nova City family we got going is amazing, and I want to say thank you to all of, you know, the family. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Renisa. You are thank great. You. God thank bless you. Yes. Eat something. <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> Take right. care. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, guys. I am going to. Cheek says in her uh, super chat, she says, if you were the bad guy, it wouldn't have showed up pretending to be a volunteer. What do you mean by that? Cheek, you are talking about volunteers a lot. I would like for you to call and to help me understand what you're saying. You wouldn't show up and pretend to be a volunteer if they all think he's in the river. So they keep searching the river. To pretend to be... Are you trying to say the person that did this to him is one of the volunteers, Cheek? Yes or no? Yes or no? The security uh, camera... I don't... Ha Monica, I don't... I don't... No one has that. No one has that. There's, there's no other footages. No other ones. Other than the, one, the ones that we got... You know, cops have access to that resource. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm going to take one more caller. Please do me a favor. Please make sure that there's no noise playing in the back because I cannot hear. Please make sure you are connected via Wi-Fi. That's the best. Please make sure it is not on speaker because when it's on speaker, your quality is low. Please make sure that you don't have the stream running in the back loud. No interference, please. I would appreciate that so much. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, guys, so her phone call was five minutes. That's perfect. Let's keep it five minutes because I got to, you know, keep it fair. Okay, Abby, don't hate me, but I called you twice. I cannot. Let's see. Hey, what's going on, girl? Okay, so I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm going to make this quick. Can yeah, you hear yes. me clearly? You, ha you have to make this very quick. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the the frustration that the family at, at the moment is that they made a police report, a missing report. They detailed with the officer everything. They went to Apple, and um, Riley is under his mom's plan. Wait, not his aunt's plan? Under his aunt. No, under his mom. Not his aunt, his mom's plan. Yeah, because Kelsey said aunt, so I'm, I'm, it has to be his mom. Okay. So they went with that police report to Apple, and all of a sudden, Apple rejected them, stating that the officer put misinformation. What? Yeah, so they got denied. What? His, his, his mom, he is under a family plan. They made sure they did the report, went to Apple, and Apple denied them due to the fact that the officer in the statement put false information. And that's why they're, they're leaning on there is foul play. Okay, let me set my mind straight on this. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, back this up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who said it's false information? Apple said that it's false information because of what particular reason? Be, be, be very accurate, okay, Abby? Okay, so let, let me open up her, her thing because I don't want to say anything wrong. Right. So... He were hanging in there frustrated, were all I think. Um, they, so they spoke to Apple, and they did hold not on, give hold them on, Hold on, hold on, hold on. People are confused. Somebody said in the chat, how does she know? This is a specific individual that is in contact with the family directly, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yeah, so I'm, ta I'm talking to her, and honestly, I feel like she's, she's getting worse by the moment like mentally and is she is she scared to talk to me or what i have brought it up and for some reason i i think they just want to lean towards chris so then nothing is miscommunicated mm -hmm. but her and i bonded as a woman like i i literally cried with her mm -hmm. but so so they called the officer they they made a missing person report the officer is supposed to make the report um due to whatever the mom dad is saying accurately time everything um riley is under his mom's account family account she asked the mother she should be able to go into Apple store and see his last calls and they denied her because the officer put misinformation on the report. Why would the officer put misinformation from what though? What information? She didn't tell me exactly. All she told me was that they gave the officer all the information timely. This is the last time I spoke to my son. This is where it pinged. Everything that they knew that were facts, 
They gave it to the officer. The officer did the missing report, gave it to them. They took it to Apple, and Apple said, oh, um, well, there's misinformation, and on top of that, he's 18. What does his age got to do with anything? He's an adult. 18, you're an adult. Exactly. And if you have a missing person report and he is under your family plan, which means you are mom, and I know this because I just did this about three months ago with my daughter, my, I didn't need my daughter. I went into my own Apple, mm. and I was able to restrict a lot of things. So I'm able to see everything and anything, and they're not allowing her to see last calls, who who texts, they're, they're not helping in that sense. That's why they believe that there is foul play. And she's, they're praying that the cops have nothing to do with it because it's said that in that area, there is a high rate of um, people disappearing and organs and, and all of that. Right, right. He's not, no, guys, guys, we know he's not 18. I'm, 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 he's 22. We know that, but I'm saying he's just above 18. Is what is what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. So he he's an adult, even though he can, you know, most likely be deceased. They that they're giving, is, okay. they're giving the, pro, the family a problem. You know, I do understand Apple's policies. I really do, especially with that terrorist case that happened. But if okay. he's under his mom's name, she should have access to that. Exactly. Damn, Apple, what and the hell, Apple? Exactly what I told her. Damn, I'm like, Apple, what the hell is going on, you conglomerate? What the mm -hmm. heck is going on? And the fact that the officer did not, um, that he, he, she didn't tell me what he put in wrong or what did he miss, but I, I advised her to call another officer, which an officer, a sheriff can come to your house and make a new report and show the old one and, and they can point out she this was a mistake. She should sue. That's what she needs to do because if it's her account and she can't get access to her data, her information, they denied her, she, she got a case. She needs to get, she, if the son is under, does, tell, tell her, I said that she needs to get her lawyer and to look into that, because if that's her account, tell her I said that. Tell, not the mom, the uh, the the cousin, right? Oh, yeah. Totally. Tell her she needs to look at what Apple policies that she's denied access to that. Because if people yeah. are not getting justice, proper justice, if police are messing up, whoever's messing up, Apple shouldn't be messing up. Absolutely. So go exactly. and tell her that I said to tell her lawyer to look into those policies, lawyer up, and sue them because she needs, she's right to her own data, period. Absolutely. I told, I told her, and I'm going to go ahead and reach out to her tomorrow again. And I did want to state on something that you stated that some people seem to not understand. When there is a body in water, um, there's a girl named, well, she was, Kesla Rodriguez in Puerto Rico, she was murdered by her boyfriend who was in another relationship, but they tied her up with bricks, heavy bricks, and she still floated because of her body. Mm. So it don't matter what you put, like you tied someone to, she still floated to the very top and that's how they found her. So do I believe he's in the river? I want to hope because then they can close this case. But I, I, I mean, come on, no, you're, you're going down a hill, you're dazed out. And the first thing you're going to do is pull out your, your, your card. You can't use your card there. Mm. And then you're going to get there. Mm. That makes absolutely no sense. Mm -hmm. That is someone that's laying something down and in every other places to distract. And sorry to say it, my opinion, he's deceased and he is not, I don't think he's in that area. 
Mm-hmm. And and they are very pissed with with and with the law with cops because they're not moving as they should be moving, and that's why they keep asking us to do more research to get on the ground. This is you cops- know what's so crazy about you saying is this is the only family that's actually telling people like hey do more stuff. All the other families, yeah. I remember other cases Savannah Soto, all the other cases they were like. Internet people, stop what you're doing. Let the police do what they do. I have nothing against police, guys. I don't. I have nothing against police. But in my logical brain, it makes sense. When more people come to together as a collective, when more minds come into play, we can assist and help. Right? This just don't we have an army for that? We got I got your back. Okay. Well, guess what? I officers, let me help you. I got your back. Let me do the computer work while you go on the field. Because last time I checked, if TikTokers, if TikTokers could go ahead and find clues that you couldn't find, like just like Ashley Banfield said, like get your eagles, grab your testicles and suck them up and get your ego out the way. Let people and help I, you. Right? Because I they walked all of that over and over and over and over again, and that was not there. Shoot. Do me a favor. Tell her what I said, okay? Get on. If you can, please tell her what I said. Because let what me tell I'm you something. Do- As time goes against this boy's life, and they find any clues that he was even partially alive when she requested that, and they failed to give her that, she got a whole case. Tell her. You, she better talk to Apple. They, but they're denying. They're not wanting to talk to them. That's that's why she feels like there's foul play. Well, guess there's what? Something... Lawyer up. Lawyer up. So what I'm going to do, Noel, is that I'm going to speak to her tomorrow, and I'm going to ask her permission, and I'm going to just do a group chat, you, her, and I. And then maybe she will release more. And also, she. Well, I, I can't Chris, do that. I can't do it in that method, though. I go. I have a a a, a, a procedure. I have to, you know, it's okay, a procedure. So I'm, I'm, so just, I'm just tell her if she wants to speak seat. to me. If she says no, I'm not gonna. I'm not. To be honest, I promise you, I'm not even pushing it. If she says no, then it's no. I don't. I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I don't care, but I'm not gonna push her. I'm, I, I don't want to do that. Right. She's grieving. She right. lost her cousin. It happens. But if she wants to talk to you, I'm fine with that. It's either or. I, the, the, the main right. goal is to find this boy. Are we on the same page? Right. And to, to know what the hell happened. Exactly. 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 Abby, thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate you. Um, I'll connect with you more. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. And, and remember, I just told Melly that I'm the flower girl. So don't forget. <laughs> get out of here. Go, Abby. Get out of here. Go. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell flower girl for Melly? What the heck does that mean? Uh Skylar says, uh my two theories if he God forbid no longer with us and he was robbed. Um he was robbed and downstream the river. And then the other one is taken in traffic in a car. It's, it's a possibility. I don't know how with the car situation because his stuff was in the same location as the disappearance of his, you know, Skylar. But I respect your theory, especially that first one. That's a possibility, Skylar. You're, you're not far off. You're not. You're not. Christopher, d- dude, Christopher, I got to count, Christopher. You gotta, I'm going to count after this podcast. I hope you know that, Christopher. Christopher, what the, uh, damn it, says... Are there any same Apple account or the same cell account? That's a different thing. If they, she said account. She said the same account. Different IDs and aren't a family permission. Apple account. They, she shouldn't see that data. We're, I'm going to get that information tomorrow. I'm going to speak to her off, off, off grid. I got you. Christopher, you're absolutely correct. Well said. Well said. Uh, Chica, Cheek, I did call you. You did not pick up, Cheek. Um, Christopher, thank you, dude. What the hell? Who is this Christopher dude? Who is this Christopher dude? Wonder Mommy with the five says, nobody's seen that kid up. And to me, it seems like the cop knows or involved. Ooh, the cops are involved? Wonder Mommy, I don't know that. I don't know that, Wonder Mommy. 
set up that kid. I, I don't have a comment for that one, Damarmi. That's your opinion. I understand that, but I, I'm not going to sit here and, and comment on if the police are involved. I want to be very careful what I say here. N not, not, not to mean anything. It's just I'm a host of a whole podcast that thousands of people listen to me. I have to be credible, so I have to be careful what I say. You, you feel me, Wonder Mommy? Crystal says, chats, all opinions are welcome, but please, no, no, and his mods, um, vet all sources. Crystal, you well said, Crystal, yes. If it, she's right. She's absolutely correct, Crystal. Oh, my God, girl. You, you're, you're getting to know me pretty good. She's right. Jules with the 499 says, Apple only sells the hardware, phone, sells services, provider controls data. So that is true. Jules is correct when it comes to information of the account. But when it comes to Apple, Jules, Apple does have find my phone. So it's both Jules. It's not just one. They do have something that they can offer to the family. They do. So Abby, if you're listening to this, she is correct. And Abby is also correct. So Abby, I'm going to speak to you. I'll, I'll text you. Jules, thank you so much. Guys, thank you for the super chats. Christopher, who is, who is this guy? I'm a nerdy engineer at a very large techno and work with all kinds of data. Oh, wow. You're a nerd like me, huh, Christopher? Well, welcome to the family. And I appreciate you, Christopher, for all the support, man. Thank you so much, Christopher. Holy chicken strips. Thank you so much, Christopher. I appreciate you. Um, Let me see this. Okay, let's get somebody else in here. One more person. All right, you're not picking up, Cheek. I called you again. Chris loves you, Nov, says Luis. Who's who's Chris? I don't know who Chris is. Um, all right, guys. I think that we are going to call it for today. Uh, Melissa Smith ends the podcast with the 20... Thank you, everyone. Everyone, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for the amazing support. We got a lot of work done today. I am stumped. Okay, wait a minute. Melissa, I'm going to read your super chat in just a second. Hello, Cheek. Yeah, yeah. Hey. It's, um, it's blocking me. I'm on an apple. It's okay. My name is No. Welcome to Novesity. Thank you so much for taking the call. I appreciate that. Thank you for calling. How are you? I, I'm doing okay. I'm sorry about that. Like it literally did not ring. You're good. Anything. You're good. Don't, like... don't worry about it. Give me one second. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm going to read this first before I continue. On Saturday, my daughter's friend got wasted and called her for a ride. While my daughter was driving, their friend got in a car with a stranger. My daughter's in intercepted them and got her back. Friend still thinks it's. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh my God, Melissa. I'm glad nothing happened. Is everyone okay? Melissa, what the hell? Oh my gosh. You, you should have called in for that one, Melissa. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. That's crazy. But I, I need to know if everything's good though, right, Melissa? Shout out to Melissa Smith over at YouTube. That's insane. That's insane. Hey, okay, so yes, you are okay. the last caller of today. So tell me what you were making those comments that I don't, I'm not too familiar of. Please tell me about it. Okay, so I'm like originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and there was like a big case when I was growing up with um, Amy Maholovic going missing. Okay. And that's when I first learned about the theory of like the kidnapper being a volunteer looking for the missing person. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And what got my attention, and I don't know which video mentioned this, but I was watching it earlier, like in the morning. And um, they were saying that the card was found, right? 
but they were saying that area was already searched. So how can a card show up in an area already searched? Mm. I don't get it. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. So you were saying, wait, wait. So you think that the card was planted? Theoretically. I mean, I can't prove any, like, it's just a theory. Right, right, right. right. Thank you for saying that, by the way, Cheek. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. But you are correct. You're very welcome. Thank you. Um, Um, So, yeah, I mean, if you were the person who have done some harm to somebody, so before I go, I just say it it would make complete sense to get people looking in the wrong place. Mm. So who could have planted this card in your theory? Um, well, there is the homeless camp that the parents were saying they were very helpful to them. And I'm like, well, maybe you think they were being helpful or maybe they're covering something up. So you think, you know? so, all right, so you think someone that in the, in those camps planted it there to make it, to make people search there or something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. I, I think he did stumble over into a homeless camp area. And I think that might be true, you know, right, if right. we're believing them. And I think that maybe they know what happened and they're not saying anything. And I think that's why the police are being like kind of sketchy right now. Oh. And then they released this video suddenly that exists that didn't exist before after like an entire week of this family going if anyone has footage if anyone has footage it was a cop who had footage you know and not just footage but an exchange you your know, your theory sounds like something somebody told me i think it was breezy told me earlier something about this okay and so you think this is bigger than what we what we think it is in your opinion in my opinion, the cover-up is bigger than what actually probably happened was probably like nothing that big or major, but they're making it bigger with the cover-up. Okay, okay, cover-up. That's interesting. I, I would like to, you know, I, I, I kind of want to hear more about this. I'm going to, because I have to end the podcast, but. Oh, no, I totally get that. I, no, 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 and then no, no. like, sorry to like keep you on. No, 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 you're sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. I want to hear more okay. about this. I want to hear more about your because th- I'm, yeah. I'm open minded, but I'm very realistic now. But I want to. Oh no, I'm I'm a realist too. I'm like I'm just saying it's a theory. It's a theory, that and I'm glad you said out. that. By the way, very 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 good. I love you for that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but I, I, but I, yeah, I, no, I'm inviting I, you I back to the show, sure. and I want to I want you to text the number, and I want to call you again because I want to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah cool. I want to hear yeah, more definitely. about this. Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm like really drawn to this story and um, I like the way you're presenting it. And that's why I'm like, uh, heck, I'm going to join today. <laughs> <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you so much. And I you're love your name, welcome. by the way. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's supposed to be a play on clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, 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 clicked, it, it got me clicking. Definitely did. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I have appreciate a good night. you. You have a wonderful night now. I appreciate you, too. Bye. All right, bye-bye. I want to hear more about that. That's interesting. Yes, I didn't forget the P.O. Box. I'm just setting that the, the, the segment for the podcast is, 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 is ending. I, it took uh, too much phone calls. Um, if I miss a phone call, a lot of people's texting me, guys, a lot. I just got, like, so many text messages. Uh, I, do, I do apologize, but I wasn't supposed to take phone calls today. But um, what I'm going to say here is I'm ending the podcast. So if you are here strictly for the case, you can leave. Um, But I did promise that at the end of Mondays, at the very end of the podcast, I'm going to open up P.O. Box packages. So there are people who sent me packages. Um, So this is the end of the podcast. All right. End of Novicity. End of the Riley Strain segment. Um, Thank you for watching. If you wish to still watch, I'm going to run this podcast for just 10 more minutes as I open up these boxes, okay? So just give me a few. Okay, 
So again, feel free to leave if you're, if you're done watching for the Riley segment. I am done for the night. I'm way past the time. Four hours is crazy. My butt cheeks hurt. I got to take a piss. I, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. And I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day today. I probably shouldn't say that because somebody's going to curse me out in the chat. So um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. But now we're just going to do the packages that I just got from the P.O. Box for Novesity. Another one. The packages came like this. This package came like this. I have no idea what it is. Again, if you wish to send any packages, anything you want to the Novicity P.O. Box, Breezy and Co. are going to post it right now. Breezy, if you could pin the P.O. Box, um, pin it right now. Co., if you could do it, I'll pin it. It came like this. Whoever sent this, this is hilarious. Somebody sent honey buns. And if you don't know what that is in Novicity, when somebody sends... A uh, hundred dollars in Venmo, Cash App, or Super Chat, or or Stars, you get a special, you know, shebang. So Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. I think Christopher sent. Let's see. I think he sent eighty something. He's like, I th he's a new guy here. Chat. I think he sent eighty something, seventy something, eighty something. I'm not too sure. Yeah, Christopher, I don't know. He's brand new and he's going crazy in the chat. Um, so I don't know who sent this, but maybe you can tell me. Somebody could tell me in the chat. I can't. The chat's going crazy. Um, somebody said honey buns, and that's usually what it means. Like, um, And don't worry about it. The emojis for the honey buns come out tomorrow. So, and for now on, I'm going to do something special. Whoever sends a honey bun via Venmo, Cash App, or whatever, however you support it, uh, there's going to be something special going on uh, for whoever sends honey buns from now on. So somebody said honey buns. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> who sent this? Mods. Can you tell me, Mods, please, who sent this? Mods, please, please. If somebody in the chat is claiming this, please. Uh, it came with this. I don't know what this is. Please tell me who sent me this. Please. Um, whoa, what is this? What is this? I have no idea what this is. It came with... What is this? Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? What is this? It came with the honey buns. Is this a honey bun holder? Wait, what is this? No, seriously, how do I open this? Oh, this is cool. Oh. Is this mods? You mind telling me in the staff section who sent this? This is yo. Why am I smelling this? This is is this a? It's two of them. What? This is cool. Who sent this? A phone holder. Oh, this is awesome. Who sent this? Who sent this? Oh my gosh, who's who's the first one in the chat can tell me what game is this from, this wallpaper on the iPhone? What wallpaper? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? It's from Nicole Holder. Nicole Holder! Nicole, thank you. Oh, you get it? You get it? Phone Holder? Nicole Holder? You know what? How about this? I'm going to make one Nicole holder for you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one for the phone because I do use the phone for Novesity. Uh, actually, the Novesity's phone is right there. That's the Novesity phone. I have my own line phone number. Um, I do that when I go live for supporters. If you guys didn't know this, by the way, supporters, we're supposed to go live for supporters today only. We're going to move that for the following two days, Wednesday. So we are doing the next live for supporters only. In order to be part of that, you have to be a member. Um, exclamation point, join in the chat. Um, you have to be a member. 
so to say. So we have private lives where it's only for members. I will show you what I mean. So right now, if I show you right here, go to YouTube. We go to my YouTube channel. Uh, see, at the bottom, it says members only live. You are not allowed to see this. It's only for members. You see the green? So you see the people that are in green on Facebook and the green badges on, you, on Facebook? The green badges on Facebook and the green people over at, the green names over at YouTube. That's only for videos specifically for them. I can't really show you this video because it's for members only. I'm not supposed to. I think Dez is going to get mad if I show you this. But let me tell you, those Thin Mints were absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on. Um, I guess I'll try one. I love these honey buns. Oh my God, you all said the name. You all said the name. You guys played Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, you guys are amazing. Okay, you guys are absolutely amazing in the chat. Uh, let's see here. I missed your call because of the delay. I'm in AZ. Oh, no, it's okay, Kinder T. It's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow. I got you tomorrow. I appreciate that. Thank you for the Kinder T. Thank you for the super chat, by the way, Kinder T. And Breezy, thank you. Breezy, you <laughs> Breezy, why are you crazy? Okay, let's. So, Nicole Holder, do you want me to try one? Let me know, Nicole Holder. Look out for her comment in the chat. I can't. It's so many. Um, I have to go back and actually open up the honey buns. I didn't open up the honey buns. I'm opening up right now, Nicole. Uh, let's see here. I'm opening up the honey buns right now. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat this like I love... I almost said that. Inappropriate. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I haven't eaten since 7 in the morning. Oh, my God. Okay. For now, one, Nicole Holder, this black one, because black is my favorite color, uh, matte black, this is the honey bun holder. So anytime that I'm hungry and I need a snack, there it is. All right? There it is. Okay, Nicole? You stay. You're the honey bun holder. You stay. All right. Um, dude, this is great. Thank Nicole. Oh, man. You guys are amazing. All right. So I have one from here. I don't know who this is from. So let's see what this is. I have no patience. I'm like a kid at Toys R Us. Send me a honey bun. What is this? A gift. Enjoy your gift because you are the bomb.com from Janice Lillian, Facebook, Queen of My Boys. Oh, look at she too. Look at Queen of My Boys in the chat over at YouTube. And I love the gift notes. I love it. Yes, look at that. Gotcha, bitch. Love it. Another one. Queen of my boys. See, I got the honey bun. He's right there. Stay. Uh, what is this? Okay. Let's have a look. You're making me hungry with all that goodness. Man, I'm sorry, Christopher. <laughs> look what Christopher wrote. This man, Christopher, is wild. Ladies, I know y'all see Christopher. What is this? Joy Cuff? <gasps> no way! Look at that! What? Always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Oh my God, Queen of My Boys! Yo, Queen of my boys, what? This is so dope. Yo, this is pretty, what? You know what? I'm going to wear it for the rest of the podcast. How about that? Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, you don't have to be, okay, this is too nice. You don't have to do all this. 
I, I appreciate this. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Queen of My Boys. That's so kind of you. This is nice. Yo, I do not deserve this. I don't deserve these things. I feel terrible. Like, like taking something, like, that doesn't, like, I really, guys, I don't deserve this. I really don't. I have uh, another one. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, after all these years streaming and talking about true crime, it feels good to unwind, to be honest. This feels really good to unwind. This is, wait, what is that? Oh. Oh, what is this? So. Oh, wait, wait, a desk? Wait. Who said this? Wait, what does it say? Hold on. What does this say? Desk of a humble genius. Oh, that's flattering. What? Dude, what? No way. Oh. That is so nice. That is so nice. Who sent this? Who sent this? It didn't come with a name. Thank you so much. Me, Nicole Holder, are you again? <laughs> Nicole, why are you so sweet? Nicole, what the way? Look at that. Come on. Look at right there. Nicole, thank you so much. She's so Nicole Holder, you're so sweet. Pin her comment. Pin her comment. Pin her comment. She said, she said me. Oh man. Uh that's all that came. Nicole, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Nicole. Thank you so much. And Queen of My Boys, I'm rocking this. This is this is all this is this is this is amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. This was nice, man. You guys are incredible. Again, guys, you don't have to send anything. Do not. You don't have to. That's just for people who 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 wants to send something. You totally don't have to, okay? Uh, Cheek says, um, in all the universe, Christopher would uh, would still be better than me, which I appreciate and I mean, what? No, what? Everybody's great. Everybody. You're great. Christopher's great. Everybody's great. Everybody. 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 Cheek, you, you're great. Thank you so much, Cheek, for the super chat. You're great. Flora says, wishing I could door dash me some honey buns. <laughs> hey. Hey. Look, 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 look. He's on alcohol. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hey, uh, you guys are great. All right, that was that was nice. Ch Cheek, uh, Cheek, whoa. Okay, you're becoming like Christopher now. Cheek, slow down with the super chats. She's wilding out right now. Cheek, thank you so much. She says, quit smoking five years ago. It really gives me so much spare change. Oh, I am complimenting you. I assure you, I adore this moment in time. No, you rock. You deserve it all. Cheek, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. I really don't deserve all this stuff. I really don't. Thank you guys so much. Um, yes, Breezy, I did not get your a package, unfortunately. Um, Megan says, you do deserve all the great things. Says Megan. Megan, thank you, guys. This was great, guys. YouTube, Facebook, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Do you drink coffee or tea? Um, coffee sometimes, yeah. I had coffee like three days ago. Um, I'm more of a tea. Yes, sometimes. Same thing. Uh, I'm more of like a hot chocolate, like I like comfort type of shit. If I drink coffee, I'm on crack. I'm going to be all over the ceilings, twerking. You don't want to see that. Um, um, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for this. Cheek! Christopher, guys, enough. No more super chats. Enough. No more. No more stars. 
No more super chats. Brittany Polo with the 100 stars says, uh, do you see where people think the black car and following him in the cop video are saying, get in the car? What? No, I didn't hear that, Brittany. Brittany, I'm going to have to check that out tomorrow. I'm going to have to check that out tomorrow. Um, you do deserve all the great things, says Megan. Megan, thank you. I, I'm so humbled, man. Thank you so much. Nicole coming through, queen of my boys. This is nice, man. I got the, I got Mr. Honey Boone. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely incredible. All right, guys. I think I might call it. I think this is the end of the podcast. Christopher, enough. Christopher. Another one. Oh, my gosh. Guys, no more. Guys, no more Super Chats. Enough. Please, please, please. No Cash Apps, no Venmos. Those, please, don't do that. Enough, please. You provided a great service and deserve it. Christopher, yo, chat. Christopher, can we tell Christopher to stop? Enough, enough. Tell him to stop. Enough, guys. All right, we're done. We're done. Christopher, you're walling out. You're wild, boy. Enough. Sandwich. What does Sandwich says? Christopher, thank you so much, man. I, I Dude. He, he one-upped me. <laughs> cheek, cheek, no. All right, we're done. We're done. Christopher, I love you, bro. Thank you. You're brand new and you're rocking it, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. 713 Texas with the same dono and says, last week you made me buy Girl Scout cookies. Now this week you didn't want, you didn't want to go buy honey buns. Thank you for whatever you do. It's Texas, you go to Dez. Go to Dez. Go to Dez. Go to Dez. Dez is responsible for that. Dez. That wasn't me. That was Dez. That wasn't me. Dez did that. Dez. Dez, we blame you. We blame you for that. I destroyed the Thin Mints. The Thin Mints were wild. The Thin Mints were wild. All right, guys. We are done. Christopher. Oh, my gosh. Another one. Christopher, what is going on, man? Sir, Chris yes, sir. Christopher. 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 That's enough, guys. Please. Literally. I got to end the podcast. You're making me stay on longer. I got to go. Christopher with the forty nine ninety nine half a bun made it fun. I can't. Oh my gosh! I just can't compete. I can't fucking compete! I just can't compete. Oh my gosh! I can't. Tell me your favorite snacks. Candy, Dr Pepper. That's my favorite. Christopher, enough. Dude, you're wilding out. W's in the chat. Look at all the W's in the chat for Christopher. All right, we're done. We're done. Okay, no more. Christopher, thank you for the 4999, bro. That I'm good. We're done. We're done. I'm literally gonna catch a heart attack. I gotta take a piss. Like, thank you guys so so much. Okay. Oh my gosh. Laura with the five. She says, and another one. Laura Martinez, you know what you're doing, Laura Martinez. And Laura Martinez sends direct donos to a vet. Oh my gosh, Laura, that's you, isn't it? You're the Cash App girl. Laura, you're the Cash App girl. <gasps> Laura. Yo, okay, Christopher, what are you starting? Cheek and Christopher, what are you guys? And another one, Monique. Oh my gosh. Monique, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Monique, Laura, thank you, guys. So much. Guys, we had fun today. We ended on a good note. Good spirits. I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for this podcast. Um, you guys are great. Thank you. Uh, we have more to cover. Yes, I am going to cover the Madeline Soto. We're not done with Madeline Soto. We're not done with Madeline Soto, ladies and gentlemen. So watch out for Madeline Soto. New details, new videos. Stay involved. Get involved like always. All right. I love you guys so much. Christopher again says go pee. He knows what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. He knows exactly what he's doing. I will go, Pete Christopher. Thank you for the five super chat, man. I appreciate that. You guys, all of you, all the super chats, all the, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We have more cases to cover. Uh, Elijah View, more information. Elijah View found his blanket. I mean, they found Elijah's View blanket. That's wild. Thank you, Texas. I appreciate you. Christopher, thank you. Cheek, thank you so much. Laura, thank you. Oh, my gosh. 
Kim Harkins with the 100 stars. Thank you, Kim Harkins, over at Facebook with the 100 stars. Thank you guys so much. Um, we got more stuff to cover. So thank you for watching this podcast. Much love. If you haven't liked, haven't shared, definitely do that. Um, hit the subscribe button, everybody. Go to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. I know I see the comments. You guys want this shirt. I, I, the reason why I'm not making this. Okay. Somebody's asking questions about the shirt. The shirt. Hold on. This shirt is for like, for people who, who are like in the studios. Like, you know, I made like only like two of these. Like for instance, okay, pull out your phone. Watch this. You want to see something cool? Look at the back of this. What do you see? It's a QR code. It's a mic check. It's a QR code designated for the proper channels for Novicity. So if you scan that QR code, everything about Novicity will pop up with, with links. I think that's a pretty cool shirt to have if you ask me. <laughs> that's a pretty cool shirt. I ain't gonna lie. This shirt is pretty cool. Now, uh, let's, 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 uh, all right, let, let me get out of here. I want the shirt. No, 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 not this shirt. Maybe, maybe I do have an extra one. Maybe that'll be like a special shirt that I'll have to give out for some reason. I don't know. Maybe. I, it, it, it's only two of these, so. I have one and there's another. Look, I'll show you. It's uh, right over there. Um, maybe I'll do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, 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 this shirt is very unique. Um, let me get out of here. All right, guys. Have a good night. Remember, like I always say, do good, die great. I love you guys. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Cheek with the $1. God damn it, Cheek. Good night, everybody. <laughs>